What's the difference between uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and Princess Diana? Oh, God. <laughs> Thomas made it through the tunnel. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 I used to be into BDSM, necrophilia, and bestiality. And then one day I realized I was just flogging a dead horse. <laughs> That's done mine on Lynn and all. You're joking. <laughs> Not another one? Every time you disconnect the deck, it's a fucking um, problem. Good evening, you absolute scumbags. Welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse, the podcast that sends Bible verses to OnlyFans girls to remind them that God is watching. <laughs> For free. It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you're all fucking living. You're, you're, Ring the fucking bell. They're living in sin. <laughs> you are fucking. You're the the epitome of a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> Weekends is for sinning. <laughs> uh, buy the fucking merch. Buy the merch. And more importantly, nah, fuck the merch. Buy the tickets. Buy the tickets. Get the fucking tickets, Marlon. Reg, where are we going? What's we're, happening? We're going. We're doing the fucking doghouse hoedown on the 10th of August at the Bath and West Thatcher's Bar. It's going to be lit. And we're going to get fucked up. We're going to get fucked up. And we're... the girls going to be wearing Daisy Dukes and I'm going to be all up in the place. <laughs> how, right. We're going to have a sweepstake going, I think, on how many arms are broken on the uh, mechanical ball. You've got to sign the waiver before you get yeah, on it. Yeah, so... they're all insured. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got no public liability. <laughs> we've also got no money, so don't try and sue us. <laughs> Frivolous lawsuits. Yeah, um, so... yeah, buy the fucking tickets. 10th of August, they're on the website. Um, come, don't come. I'm not your real dad. It's going to be epic. All the boys are going to be there. And Marlon's going to be country and westerns up to the nines. I'll probably be dressed up as boss that's hog. Okay. That's a normal weekend for me, mate. Yeah, not going to lie. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be fucking epic. Come on down. It's going to be a right tear up. If you came to the last event, you know the kind of dues that we put on and you know the, how good the venue is. So it's going to be all that in a bag of nuts. Uh, yeah. It'll be good. It's going to be good. Get Obviously, on there, get the tickets. Links in the bio, links in the episode description. Yeah. With your uh, ticket price, you get food. Yeah. As many rides as you want on the mechanical bull. There's also some other bits coming soon. Oh, what are you working on, you sly None little fox? fucking business. All right, cool. What I'm about the transport? That... Just, uh, just... Oh, don't uh, yeah, fucking... No, just because people will want to know, that's all. No, there's no fucking transport. Do we get a, t- a, no, co- a taxi home, fucking... or is there no transport? No, I don't think, no. I don't think we need transport. Unfortunately, I mean, we um, our own transport. But people, not in the budget. People might be expecting it. I'm what? just saying what most people are probably thinking right now. Well, it wasn't in the budget. That was the be-all yeah, there. Really enough. Enough. It's really expensive to put on. Yes. Um, we're doing it literally as cheaply as we can. We c- well, yeah, we are. And we all appreciate that. Everyone does. So that's good. But we're once a lift time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keith gave me a lift last time. Well, Nobby picked everyone up in the bloody horse box, yeah. didn't he, last time? <laughs> right, compliment sandwich. Good, bad, good. It's yeah. going to be a yeah. great night. Yeah, 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 yeah well, good. you fucking dick. No, no, I'm just trying to get some people to book a taxi. That's all. I might not come, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah um uh so yeah and uh one other thing massive shout out to who marlon the patreons that's who you fucking knob uh <laughs> we'll poke him we'll you wake him up <laughs> a massive shout out to the patreons uh for keeping the show going that's the main thing marlon what are we what do we do for the patrons what do you do for giving us a couple of li- just a couple of bobs every month just to keep the uh, show going well sometimes it's sexual favours but most of the time it is a pit viper giveaway boy two yes. pairs of pit vipers get given away every month which will be when marlon we said it was well, we said it was Sunday. Yeah, that I thought Sunday was a good time to do it. We yeah. got fuck all else on, so we may as well. After church. Yeah, I'll be there for yeah. a fucking wa- absorbing myself of all my weekend sins. And um, yeah, <laughs> washing my butthole in the uh, in the holy <laughs> water. <laughs> That's where the sinning be happening. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mr. Booty Hole Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah join uh we'll be on live on the youtube on not sure on what time yet because i have a million and one things to do it'll probably be early you'll, evening. you'll, you'll be you'll be made aware in due course we'll be giving away two pairs of hip vipers 
Uh, we'll be live in the bar. I don't know what we'll be doing this time. We've not really got much to do anymore. We're fairly up together, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, you can see our new streaming setup. With, uh, well, I say our new streaming setup. We've done bought some lights. Um, <laughs> we've got some lights. Bright, yeah, they are. They are. So we, we are proper, uh, we're proper OnlyFans girls, Marlon. Yeah. We've got two big old fucking ring I'm going to get my ass out oh, later. I want to see your butthole. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Join us on the page on the on the for the Pit Viper giveaway. If you're a patron, you automatically get entered. We give away two pairs of Pit Vipers. We do it every month. You know the score by now. Um, what else do you get? You get to join Discord, which is awesome. I have it's made. Garnish. I've done it. I did it. I made oh, the channel the, for for the weight loss boys that are out there. We've made it. It's the Burkenau boys. We're on there. We're losing weight. We're looking like war criminals. Uh, we're looking like POWs. <laughs> but looking we're getting like war criminals. We're, we're getting it done. No, that's the Serbian chat. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I must have missed that one. <laughs> Another itch. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Joy, you, can, you can get on the Discord. That's where all the wild shit happens. Uh, if you're, I know a few people have been like getting a few problems joining on the Discord. Um, I, I, I'm gonna say it. We and my, me and Marlon are not technical support. Google has all your answers. And uh, there's uh, so when you join the Patreon, there is the links there to be able to do it. I have no idea how to do it. Yeah, we did it so many um, years ago that we're just in it now. So yeah, it should... I expect there's a YouTube video or I something. I can imagine there's loads of tutorials. As much as we want to be, we can't be technical support. I try and be your dad and your best friend, but I can't be technical support as well. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't have the accent for it. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> that one didn't land. I thought that was funny. Hello, my friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, um, yeah, and finally, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, which is the Auto Mover, and I'm sure he's going to be absolutely thrilled that Will is on for this one again. <laughs> How many no, we're good now. We chat quite a lot. I send him reels. It's all good fun, it's you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the seventy percent off. It's actually gone up because it's Pride Month. It's ninety percent now. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're don't. part of the LGBT, whatever. If you if you're community. buying if you're, if you're buying a uh, what are the, what is it the <laughs> Nissan Cappuccino or whatever it is a Fiat five hundred yeah uh, uh, if you could or a Nissan Figaro it'll square or an MX five yeah oh yeah there you go <laughs> you are gig <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming Mister you are gig uh, anyway yeah so the auto mover what does he do Marlon he transports cars from <laughs> A to B maybe to C. It sounds simple, and it is simple. But at the end of the day, you need a man who can do that. And we spoke about it with uh, with Sam when he came on the show back along. Quite an interesting perspective, and something I've thought a lot about recently. Um, it is, you can get someone to do it on the cheap. But as he said, what is the cost of success? That might be, you know, 100, 150 quid. But what's your cost of failure? That is... It, quite enormous if it goes fucking wrong, doesn't it? Absolutely. Your man gets pulled over by Vosa. The, the, the van, the, the, the shitty little transit with an alley bed on it gets impounded. And so does your car that's on the back of it. So, you know, what a mess. there's cowboys in every industry. And I can tell you what the auto mover isn't. He's not a cowboy. Uh, so if you want a professional, reliable and dependable service that's fully insured with what, Marlon? Live tracking. Then get in touch with the sponsor of this episode, The Auto Mover. If you've got a car, a vehicle, anything with two wheels, no wheels, any amount of wheels, if you need it moving from A to B, The Auto Mover is the man to do it for you. Uh, what, what, what situation would you find yourself in where you'd need The Auto Mover, Marlon? So as you are a bit strange, you like Land Rovers. Yes. So you'd go and pick up another P P38 and then... On the way back, it would overheat, maybe. Yeah, but that that would be the only thing that it would do. It wouldn't do it. It wouldn't drive. It would just overheat. Its yeah. sole its sole goal in life is to overheat. That's it. Diesel, petrol, it doesn't matter. Nope. It will overheat. Yeah, and when you're stuck on the side of the M25, thinking, "Oh help!" and you haven't insured it properly, the fucking thing's not taxed, and you're just going, "Oh shit, what do I do?" Because oh. AA aren't going to care. And when the Met Rosers come along and go, "Excuse me, sir." Hello, is hello, this hello. You less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to end up in a whole world of hurt, and it's a, it's just a lot of time out of your day. It's a lot of time to be eaten up by bullshit fucking crap that we buy and just breaks down. Don't do it to yourself. Ring Sam. He will go and get it for you, and he will bring it to you. Take all of the stress out of the the uh, the car buying thing, which is majority of it. Is once you find the perfect car, it's worrying about getting the damn thing. So get in touch with the auto mover. Check him out. Links in the episode description. Links in the bio. Use 
What in the vehicle description for 10% off, Marlon? I-T-D-H. 10% off. There you go. 10%, 10, 10, 10, 10%, 10 off. Yeah. Uh, big up the auto mover for sponsoring this episode. Right, Marlon, who are we joined by tonight? Well, you should know by now. We have Will. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Buffalo Bell, how Hi. are you, sir? Yes, good, thank you. Very good. Salam yeah. alaikum, brother. How are Very you? Very nice. Yeah. The weather's good. Everything's good. I can't complain. Not that I ever bloody do. <laughs> no one fear. fucking listens anyway. <laughs> Whoa, oh, this isn't cheery, Will. Violin? Hang on a minute. I had a bit of a move around. It is there's still there, no, don't worry. no violin. No, all good. Very good. good. Cheery Will is here. Is, uh, is, is Lawn Mower... He's here and he's is... queer. It's Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, none of that in here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Fag Month. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fag-free zone, okay? <laughs> yeah, all good. Good. Uh, and we're also joined by the one and only Toucan, Van Damme. It's Keith. How you doing, brother? I'm very good, gentlemen. How are we all? We are well. We are well. And well, the sun's out and it's out. I mean, it's been a fucking mental week, but the sun has been out constantly, which has put me in a good fucking mood, man. Sun's out, guns out, innit? Yeah. If sun's out, plum- out, get your fucking boobs sun's out. Sun's out, plums out. <laughs> I've had my <me> brain out. <laughs> That's the first time. <laughs> me. Cool. I'm just hanging brain. <laughs> <laughs> You've got someone's putting new batteries in you, haven't they? Yeah, I think. I don't, I don't. It's mainly because I finished early today and started oh. drinking at 12. So. That's quite large chat scenes. He shorts are halfway down his leg. <laughs> not like last episode, they came off. They <laughs> shit you not. Oh, I took my oh. pants off. Not my pants, nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking curves looked at me the wrong way again. <laughs> not my ass, Stephen. <laughs> Reg, how's your week been, mate? How's my week been? My week's been all right, mate. Work's been fairly chill. Nothing too major. Um, I, what? Uh, I was very excited. I knew the the uh, anyone watched the boys on Prime. No, just me. The boys, as in like you know the super anti superhero thing. Anyway, it's the yeah, fo- just you, mate. Yeah, it's the fourth season of the boys has come out. And it's, I have. Um, I've seen some things on this. Well, it's um, pretty, it's pretty wild. Like the last three seasons, a bit. Season one was amazing. Season two was really good. Season three was a bit. Uh, I stayed with it. Um, season four, I have lost the will to live. I watched one episode, and it's like they had this great character arc for this f- French guy called Frenchie, who's actually a legend. Yeah, French blah cunts. Anyway, um, stereotypical, isn't it? And he had this great character arc with this with this other character that he met called Kimiko, who is this uh, Asian girl, and uh, it was well, great. I never it was, it was that. all. I- <laughs> oh, I thought she was from Yorkshire. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it was all leading up to this great crescendo where they got together and everything was lovely. And in the first episode, uh, that that character, just that that whole plot line gets killed, and they're not together anymore. And Frenchie's gay, of course. I was, uh, wow, okay. So it's about superheroes. Yeah, it's it's really good, but they've just fucked Why is it. Called it? The they, boys? they just fucked it. They fucked it. it. I've watched one episode and they fucking ruined it. I'm gonna stick with it, and I, I'm gonna try one more episode. And they've just. It, They've politicised it, and I'm just really disappointed. I'm I'm really sad. Nigel Farage, isn't it? I when the first two seasons came out, I was like, "This is amazing. This is the most anti woke thing in the world." Every other word is "cunt" uh, by some English actor who plays the butcher, and there's just blood, guts, gore. No one gives a fuck. And I was like, "This is exactly what the world needs." Just like some real wild out there shit where nobody really cares. And um, yeah, and it's gone woke. It's gone woke. Go woke, go broke. As far as I'm concerned, they can suck a dick. So um. Yeah, uh, so I fucking packed that in, um, and I thought to myself, I was, I was scrolling through YouTube, and I don't think any uh, any of us here will be old enough to remember, but I was scrolling through YouTube, and I've, I don't know I mentioned it on the show once or twice before, but I am watching some of the uh, the Cook Report. I fucking love the Cook Report. That does ring a bell the with me. The Cook Report yeah, is a man called Roger Cook, and he is one of the best sort of... It's not even a documentary, what do you call it? Like investigative journalists right. out there. It was based in the 90s ish, went on to sort of like the early 2000s. And he's just, it's just that investigative journalism that you don't see anymore. He's like, Welcome to the Cook Report. I'm Roger Cook. He's just kind of like a dumpy short guy with a bit of a bowl cut. And he always wears a big, a big beige jacket. And he just sort of cuts around. And the kind of episodes that I've been watching <laughs> recently, um, he was, uh, first one was, he was like, it was back in the 90s, he was like, internet pornography. Is it going to infest your home? I was like, oh. Absolutely. Oh, Let's my go. God. <laughs> and he, he's like, it, you know, it's like one of those sort of gotcha journalism. So he'll do all the research, go undercover. He'll wear a moustache and just go undercover. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just like walks into this shop. Where's this like guy with like no chin? 
He's like, I hey, leave that girl alone. Um, he's there on his computer. Roger Cook, Yorkshire Television. You were going to sell me a floppy disk full of pornographic children images. What do you have to say? Oh, no, Which I ones do you want? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Internet floppy pornography. Disc. It'll be in every home. Is it in yours? And I, I, that was just one of them. The other one was like, illegal arms in the UK. So we went to Spain to tr- speak to an arms dealer and I bought an AR-15. And he just got this gun. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Yes, look at this. Pew, 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 into a hillside. For £9.99, you can have your very own. If you'd like, this is how they're getting them into the country. QVC. I, I, oh, I just, and then he did one on, he's done one on like paedophiles, which was fucking hilarious, where he's like, <laughs> we've, been in, we've been going undercover in a paedophile network in Holland. I went into a pawn shop and was sold four pornographic children's DVDs. I have them here. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he goes, Roger Cook, Yorkshire Television. You've been selling child pornography. From- no, I haven't. No, I haven't. What are you saying? No, no. <laughs> you have. I've got them here. You sold them to me last week, you dirty nonce. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we need. He's so Roger Cook, the Cook Report. Oh, he, it's a, he did one called <clears throat> Hot Dog Wars, where he's like, "I'm posing as a hot dog salesman, just put some he literally dress up as an Italian guy." <laughs> he's like the most caricature. He just puts a mustache on and some big glasses. I'm a hot dog salesman. I've heard that it gets a bit dicey around here with <laughs> the takeaway boys, and it'll just be like, so, "Hey, you can't sit up here, son." This is, this is our patch. He's like, oh, we're just selling my hot dogs. I'm like, Roger Cook, Yorkshire <laughs> Television. <laughs> but that was so important. <laughs> He's so good. And he was in. He's like, we've, we've been looking into the triad gangs of London recently that are selling counterfeit VHS tapes. Roger Cook, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, we sent an undercover in. He's like, I, I didn't, I didn't quite fit the description, so we've got Chang here. <laughs> <laughs> Chang was approached by the boss of the triads. He almost got attacked. Jumped down a staircase and broke both of his legs. And you just see him walking across the road. Like, we had to go and get Chang, and I approached them later. You're Roger Cook, Yorkshire Television. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and watch that. The, just look it up. The Cook Report. It's some really wild shit. Like you're like, how the fuck was this on television? <laughs> some of it's pretty good. Some of it is like, we. It was like, it was like child prostitution in your area. Are the taxi drivers running it? We find out. This man offered us. <laughs> this, this man offered a CS CS gas in in his in his taxi. So incompetent, he let it off in the taxi and nearly killed our journalist. <laughs> Roger Cook, Yorkshire <laughs> Television. You are so inept that you were selling CS gas, you let it off in your own taxi. You are a fool. <laughs> anyway, so that has been my week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Just, It's called The Cook Report. Anyone over the age of like 35 might remember it. I don't remember it, but my dad was like, fucking hell. The Cook Report. I was like, yeah, do you remember it? Roger, Roger Cook! <laughs> Yorkshire Television. <laughs> it's the craziest shit. He like he got like death threats from going after the um the boys that were on the uh, the Costa De- the Costa Del Crime. <laughs> All them lot that was going loco down in Acapulco after doing all the train robberies, like all that doing the doing the post office jobs, he just go out there and go after them. But like, why aren't you in prison? What are you doing here in Spain? You should be serving a life sentence. He's like, go away, Roger. I don't want to speak to you. Just keep going back every five years. They threatened to kill me. I've a, a hitman came to my house, but I won't stop. I'm Roger Cook, <laughs> Yorkshire Television. <laughs> He's not even like, he's got a Yorkshire accent. He's got quite a well spoken, but obviously, he's just got to deal with Yorkshire <laughs> television for like four of this series. Roger Cook, Yorkshire television. Anyway, so yeah, that was, um, that was me, mate. That's just, that is pretty much my week. <laughs> just been it. watching the Cook Report. Is everything okay, Reg? Uh, <laughs> I sort of run out of little jobs to do around the house. <laughs> I was going to say, honest. have you lost your job or something? That's why you've been home early, <laughs> drinking all day, right. going a little bit crazy. <laughs> Jeffrey's been doing most of it. Yes. <laughs> Slowly getting pissed watching the Cook Report. Go on, Rog. You tell those pedophiles how it is. Uh, yeah, what about you, Marlon? How's your week been? Yeah, Painful been, by the um, sounds of things. Yeah, uh, we got a couple of things to gloss over. First of all, oh god, oh. we're back, baby! <laughs> Woo! 
Marlon's ground forces. Fire. See you in six months' time. <laughs> Hello, so, welcome. We're at a lovely little semi-detached in Shepton Mallet this week. <laughs> Looks like a scrapyard, but it won't in 60 minutes. <laughs> I fully blitz that on Sunday. Sorry, didn't really come with tits hanging out, innit? Yeah. <laughs> when, when the college my mother get, and all. Get Chief out. <laughs> Wear a low cup top, love. <laughs> yeah, we big. We got big jobs going on. Um, I got uh, the project manager coming around the end of this week, aren't you, Keith? Yes. Uh, pro- what, hang on a minute. Who said I'm, I'm not project managing anything, You're in mate. charge. No, nah, I'm just going to come he, d- he don't want none of the responsibility of it getting fucked up, does he? <laughs> we'll have a look. <laughs> no, you're in charge, because I don't know I'll what I'm fucking out. doing. <laughs> 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 the sliding gate is nearly finished, Ooh. so we're going to um, try and fit it. Are piece we gonna of try piss, it? I reckon, yeah. It'd be fine. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a piece of piss, Keith, all right? It'd be all right, It'd be grand. I'm looking forward to it. Got to do some more digging. I did a load of stuff and things on the weekend. What so did you get rid of? Clear up. Not a barbecue? No. 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 Like <laughs> scrap and... That looked like a there decent was... way and your boot was full. Oh, yeah. She was riding a bit low. Loads of wood. I don't know where I've accumulated all this wood from. It's probably stolen. Um, and just random things. Um, so I disposed of that down at the correct place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That gateway on the A37. <laughs> the yeah. lady boy's yeah. looking forward to it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's There's a fridge. Fridge. <laughs> <laughs> on the way back, I saw Keith going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of alley there, we'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amateur threw away all the copper, didn't he? <laughs> oh, and of course, that's like gold. <laughs> I've got a TD5 block if you want it as well. <laughs> Oh, fuck, you know, you got to sort it, get more money for it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Such a gun. <laughs> Only because I've had to do it. I can take the fist because I've had to sort the scrap because the old man's like, get more money for it if you sort it out. That's irony, Ali. That's Sally. That's copper. That's bright copper. Yeah, you don't want to put it in as mix, do you? Yeah, fucking mix. Won't get no money for that, young'un. That's 700 quid, that was. 700 quid. Oh, yeah. Any of it mine? Oh, fuck me, no. <laughs> Go towards the next land rover. Two fucking blocks in there. Well, you can have a twenty quid if you want. <laughs> no, Dad, I don't want to burn the tires in the field again. For fuck's sake, <laughs> the fog's not due till tomorrow. Dad, I can't bury bury any more asbestos. I've got down to the children's graves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're we're ready for Keith to come round. He's going to tell me what I'm going to have to dig and um, supervise. Supervise mainly. And if it, if it gets too hard, I'm just going to go and steal the boss's mini digger. Uh, oh, oh, the boss! I thought you meant me. I'm like, I ain't your boss, and I ain't a mini digger. <laughs> <laughs> you the boss? He thinks he's so fucking important. Doesn't no, he? you the boss, man. <laughs> you the boss. <laughs> I had to ask you, Massa, for the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Candy, can I borrow your dicker again, please? No, no, we don't treat him like any other boys around here. <laughs> show, him him all, show him all the pretty things. <laughs> we'll bring the digger down to the big house. <laughs> oh, dear. And you know, it's like it's become hot now. Mm. So. Today was the first real day of being really fucking yeah, hot. Bro, I, I was getting a sweat on doing some pressure washing today. Yeah, I was wearing the wrong boxers when I. What ones? Oh, you weren't wearing like Your fucking thermals, not polythene <laughs> ones. Thermals, oh, the just nasty <laughs> gas monkey ones. Oh, sweat, sweat with holes in. You have not, holes in them? No, sweat no. dogs. Oh mate, it's they. My balls are raw. Oh, <laughs> I struggle to walk up here. I, I, I just can't like women. If you're listening, there's probably two of you. <laughs> You'd have no idea how much it hurts after a day of walking around with sweaty balls. I yeah, it's it's pain. Can you kind of stand with your legs open it, and just sort of thrust like it's that worse when you've got a two day stubble, isn't it? Oh, oh I had that. We went to the wedding the other day, wasn't it? Fuck me, that and off. You, you were bitching at the wedding. <laughs> fucking hell, Reg. I was like, I don't need to know. We're in suits, Keith. We're trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose wedding it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Right, I just keep moving around on my chair. If you hear a little bit of creaking, I do apologise. His cock is fucked and his balls are raw because <laughs> the thing about Marlon's crotch is fucking hardcore. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I think that's it. I am done anything else, really. No. I try. Oh. Oh. Reg. Yes. Are you ready for Glastonbury? Will, are you ready for Glastonbury? Oh, I've done nothing, but I'm ready. My yes, wife I is, don't need to get ready. I'm always ready. My wife You're, is incredibly ready for Glastonbury. I am not. You what? don't need a lot. All you need is your ticket, bit of money, 
I've bought 200 fags from Egypt, so... <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I, I, I text Chief, see if she wants some. Uh, I don't, not of mine, some more. more my yeah. 200 are mine. <laughs> you don't need a lot, really, do you? I mean, no, you guys um, you guys are poshing it this year, yeah. so you'd probably have more to worry about than me, like camper van, spaces, your awning, your shower, you know, all that. All I've got is a tent that should have been left there years ago. We keep bringing it home. It's fucked. I'm You've gonna... seen the price of tents? Like every um, year I look and think, we'll get a new tent. Look at the price and think... Ah, you get a holiday we'll abroad for that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the so. homeless putting that price up. I, do, I dropped a tent down <laughs> off at the um, <laughs> local recycling centre. Oh, did yeah. you? Was it any good or not? Yeah, it didn't have any holes in. It was just... Uh, how many people does it fit? Six. Yeah, nice. Could I stand up in it? He got four yeah, in there when he chucked it in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> big hole, that was. <laughs> but yeah, you, you don't need to. scooped it off much. of a pavement with all the minutes still. <laughs> well, right, take you down a tip. <laughs> So what are you doing? You in and out uh, on the week when uh, you're there or are you staying over? I'll stay over. The wife will come in and out with the kids a bit. What, you're going to stay in the whole time? Yeah, I always do, yeah. yeah. So you cook, yeah, yeah, cunt. Yeah, stay in all... Uh, uh, to be honest, I do sometimes go home on a Saturday for a quick shower come back in again, like quickly. Go home, have a shower, get a can of cider that a bit doesn't bit porcelain, like, you know, just yeah. treat yourself. Nothing Lie like on it. the bed and think, oh, this is nice, better get I might off just, him. Yeah. I think that's my plan for the whole festival, mate. Sofa, porcelain... Yeah, Shower, yeah, treat, yeah, nice, yeah. Not Cold surrounded fridge. by fucking smelly cunts. Oh, no, oh don't smelly worry about people. the fucking TV. I got that sorted. Oh, oh, oh you're for Tuesday oh, night? Oh, you got oh, it done? Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, we got TV. I got the aerial. We're, we are ready to fucking rock. <laughs> He's got the big fucking pile of dish on the top of the fucking transport. <laughs> <right? Yeah. laughs> I did a little fucking tester on the old anchor. That thing's very efficient. Is What's it? Your it uses work? about 40 watts. Oh, that'll fuck me. That is going to... You'd be able to run the cunt all week drive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone's going to be around our fucking oh, vans. We're going to get back and watch Wheel of Dealers yeah. at 2 it's fucking 4 a.m. <laughs> Put your hand out! <laughs> Crank it, Marlon! A bit of scrappy challenge, like. Can't get to the front of the pyramid stage. We watch it on TV, it's but fine. you, man, you watch your television. <laughs> we're from on the cook report on. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is it's Camperfield. It'll be full of old cunts, will it? No, <laughs> no, we're in loud Camperfield. Oh, we're in loud Camperfield. Mm, yeah, you're oh, not, is there a quiet you're one? You're not sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> is there quiet and loud? So like yeah. families and oh, stuff. Yeah, like, quiet um, one, oh, yeah. Imagine yeah. if we're like, we think we're going to be the cunts, but we're not the cunts and there were worse people than oh, us. Oh, I love the sound system. Oh, oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, bam for the bam, bam for the reload. Yeah, don't worry about that. We will be the cunts. <laughs> Mate, I, I camped next to fucking block nine and that oh. was... Fucking yeah, hideous. yeah. <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours a fucking yeah. day, non stop. The worst, Arcadia, when it used to be, because it moved, didn't it? When that used to be closer to Shangri La, yeah. that was noisy. All oh. well, the flames and everything. I camped yeah. in Shangri La. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I used to, first ever festival I did, last week, I camped in Shangri La. He got three quarters yeah. of an hour of sleep. It was awful. Yeah. It stank. Everything. It was just every time well, I got that side of the site, they're well, all Shangri La pieces, is the, sedentary is, pieces of shit. You come back to Mancunian the, accent at the end of it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's the furthest northwest point on the my map, isn't it? Yeah. All right, insane. Mm. Shangri La. Yeah, that's where I, everywhere everyone's like, come meet me at wherever. I'm like, wherever it is, it's an hour. So I'm Southeast gonna, Corner, yeah. yeah. It's the naughty corner, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that doesn't stop until Southeast Corner. Yeah. Yeah. And then starts the next at day. One. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is brutal. I've never been. Like, because what you got, you got, the, you got Block Nine, Shangri La, Unfair Ground, all that. That's it. Block yeah. Nine is now Arcadia, yeah. isn't it? Or is Arcadia Block, no, block Nine? Is still... over by the other stage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is it? Mm, oh, Arcadia is not. Arcadia is over. Oh, the park. You know where the park is? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that just what... below there is Arcadia, isn't well, it? Well, they renamed oh, they they yeah. the John Peel too. Because John Peel was his. No, actually, do you know what? I Googled this the other day, John Peel, because someone said about it. Married a 15 year old or something? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I've I known mean, people done worse. I mean, we were back in the day. Exactly. <laughs> he was in the right religion, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but so anyway, so you're ready then? Yeah, uh, apart from Kyle needs to come around and put my awning rail on so I can attach the awning to the van. Right. So you can have a bit of shade. Well, it's more for like room and shade. It's, yeah. more, it's more for like shade out the rain. For, for the television so we yeah. can uh, watch the game. We are going to be the fucking boys. <laughs> so we're ca- we're parking in. We didn't get a villager parking pass this year, so we're going to park in the normal parking. Last time we did that, you come down Pill Hill, take a left, and you park there, and then you walk in, come to the pyramid. Uh, sorry, the circus field. But we went through the camper van field. Was yeah. that gate C? So it? it could be this year that when I'm taking the kids back and forth and dropping Lucy off, I'll be looking for your setup. You'll saying, see us. Can baby. I charge my phone? Can we'll I have, have a, a poo? Bag flying <laughs> <up>? <laughs> Any chance of a cold can, please? Oh, that's the fridge we'll be going. Yeah. I'm never, I, I'm not going to know myself. 
I You're am... not going to go into the festival at all. He's going to be camping, watching your TV, <laughs> watching the fucking cook report for five days. <laughs> Yorkshire television. <laughs> I've never been, like, I've always stayed in the tent. I've never yeah. had any luxury, like, no. you just have power packs and warm beer. Yeah. And now I've got a bed. You're going to love it. I've got it. a shower. Yeah, you're going to love it. Cold Cause beers. Because I... even if it's boiling hot, you need the shade. And obviously, if it rains, you need the shade. Yeah. So, really, unless it's overcast for five days, which it won't be, you're going to need shade and a little bit of shelter. Yeah. We're going to be a wild time. I look forward to I can't it. Wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, very much excited. Very excited. Yeah, very Wednesday excited. Brothers Bar. Yeah, that's it. If you know, you know Wednesday Brothers Bar. We'll see what time there. is it open, Brothers Bar? Early, we normally get there like 11, don't First we? Thing, yeah, I mean, I'm going to... I expect by the time the queues have died down and we've joined them, I expect we'll be in like early afternoon. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's just the... That first strawberry, mate. Yeah, yeah that, that browse bar was quite I think when I, I walked in as soon as the gates had opened, I got set up and I walked to the browse bar and that was open by like, fuck it, it was before midday. Yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, by two o'clock, I'm dead. Yeah, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking right off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have a problem with all these liberals, Reg. <laughs> this fucking festival's full of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, no politics at the festival either, Reg. Oh, I'm going to really struggle. Just really. have a lovely time, float around I'm a little bit like wear a fairy. My, I'm just going to wear my free Israel shirt as well. Please Fuck don't. Sake. Just like, lest we forget, people <laughs> find that funny. No, no. Oh, what, the Jimmy Savile one? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I have many, uh, many a vile t-shirt, but... Yeah, anyway, what about you, Will? How's your week been, mate? Oh, my week's been fantastic. Uh, busy mowing lawns, all the usual stuff. Grass is growing like mad, trying to keep up with it all. Had a few things break, just belts, bearings, general shit. But it is the time of year where I get to play my favourite game. And I don't know if anyone's aware of this. Hide the kind sausage. Of, kind of, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a summertime game I play. And I don't know if you're aware. <clears throat> Cut round or through the dog poo? No, no, it's nothing to do with streaming dog poo. It's or mowing over it. it. But it's to do with fueling up at petrol stations. So you're only allowed to fill up one twenty liter jerry can, mm. uh, unless you got a carrier's license. Unless you got a fucking wanky license, which I don't have because I, I just don't. I like because oh, oh right. well, how much is it? How much is it? Oh, so to carry a certain amount of petrol, you have to pay yeah. the government for petrol that you've already paid, paid tax yeah. on. Yeah, paying pay, with money that you, you've paid, paid tax, tax on in a car that you've paid tax Ta- yeah. on. Uh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So I'm not doing that. So what I do is I like to go in with four 20 liter jerry cans that are empty in the back of the car and my mower on the trailer, and Sainsbury's are well on it. Oh, they? So Morrison's at Glastonbury, depends who you get. You get the Canadian bloke, George, I think his name is. He don't give a <laughs> fuck. You could be filling you up. You have all the gas you need, You mate. could go and fill up a pint glass of petrol and he'd just charge you for it and it'll be fine. <laughs> and just chug it in yeah. front of him. <laughs> he'd be like, sound. His main concern is that you have a nice day. When you leave, he's like, have a nice day. <laughs> Once I was in there and he, I, I said, oh, number seven or whatever. He goes, have you seen pump four? <laughs> and I look over and there's just some sort of 20 year old attractive blonde mama thick <laughs> and I was like oh yeah nice he was like yeah he's gonna she's gonna come in in a minute I'm gonna and I was like okay you gonna, got, like, I don't talk. know you well enough to talk it. I'm gonna talk anyway, to her in a minute he's brilliant <laughs> Canadians are so polite that any people that post a grenade for a door and say sorry <laughs> <laughs> so he's good but yeah Morrison's is a difficult one there's a woman in there and I don't know what her name is but she's always on it Brow. Because because what you're supposed to do, Brow. you're supposed to put your can on the floor and fill it up. So if I leave it in the boot, the Discovery, or in the trailer with the trailer, fill it up, she's on it. So I can't get away with it. So don't come and fucking pick it up on the floor and throw it in the back then when it's filled up. Well, there is that, yeah. So anyway, it's really fun, fun game to play. Do you not go and see the Indians down at Pill? The Sri Lankans. Is that, yeah. Sri Lankans, yeah. Sorry, yeah, they're yeah, the fucking yeah. boys. They don't give a fuck. They are yeah, either. The boys. But they, they charge more for petrol down there, and I always go and get a pizza. Or something, it costs a fortune down there. Morrison's <laughs> Morrison's is the one. Or get a fucking Peroni, the 660 mil bottles of Peroni. I don't care what time of day it is, I'll get one of those. <laughs> they cold from the fridge and yeah, all that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wash the pizza down and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they won't get a pizza. They're like, what, no pizza today? I was like, okay, I'll get it. Fine. Oh, you've twisted my arm. <laughs> so that's good fun. Uh, my fuel, my fuel. Go- uh, there'll be people on here listening that. Because I obviously use it for mowers. I'm not building a fucking bomb or anything. I just need I need petrol for lawn mowers and two strokes and That's stuff. Petrol's so. the wrong stuff anyway, mate. Petrol's wrong. It's you don't want yeah, petrol for say. a bomb, mate. Uh, Amateur. Have you even read the anarchist cookbook? Uh, what else? Oh, the, 
I had a bit of a breakdown the other day. I need to shout out someone that helped me. I've got a... Uh, you know, You're got... stuck in a slippery gateway. No, I wasn't in the Land Rover. <laughs> I wasn't in the Land Rover. I was on my quad bike. I got my Yamaha oh. Raptor quad bike. Yeah, I am proper envious of that. I'm 660, not yeah, I know. 2001. I, all I wanted when I was a kid was one of those. The best thing about it is it's agri registered. Oh, right? so you've got it on a door to so, desk. So it's got... He runs it on red. It's got... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I don't run very well. <laughs> Fuel receipts getting the fuck back on it. You tight cunt. No, but there's no ta- there's no road tax because so that's what these twenty liter uh, cans are for to run your quad bike. Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> takes premium, dude. Premium. I suppose because right now it's, against the business. it's only a certain amount of mileage between land of which you own or manage, and you manage a lot of land. I'll tell you what it is. It's a fucking grey area, is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm honestly, I, I had quite, I've had when I was gamekeeping, I had proper farm quads like Honda Foreman. And like a gator and stuff, right? So they're agri registered because they genuinely use for agri use, hauling food around or hay bales or checking. But you cattle. thought a raptor can do it quicker? This raptor I found on eBay from a bloke in, it was fucking cheap, wasn't it? in Cardiff whose mate was in jail and he was selling it for him. The whole thing was like. A, That's exactly how I bought my range. It over. was mad. Anyway, it's agri registered. What was your man in jail for? Did he tell you? Uh, I did ask, and I've learned you don't really ask that, do you? But it was something to do with the murder that he was innocent, uh, apparently. I did, and he was uh, the guy was uh, he was in jail no, for smuggling, smuggling four tons of untaxed tobacco into the country. I was like, Chad, my man, fucking Chad. <laughs> did you, you get some free with the purges as I well? Just, oh, all the door panels had been <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Boot lining. Oh, all the door panels had been off and put back on at some yeah. point. And I was like, are we going to find some marching powder in yeah. here somewhere? <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's, it's great because it's uh, agri-registered, no MOT, so it's a fucking, literally a death trap. <laughs> a mechanic hasn't looked at it for ages, uh, and no tax. Anyway, I, I, I went to Shepton to the car wash. This was a, last week, I reckon, eight o'clock in the evening. Kids were just going to bed. I said to Lisa, I was going to go out on a quad for a little blast. Because Every now and then I just need to go and have a little bit of a blast on it. I go up Cheddar Gorge quite a lot, up through the Mendips, checking my goats up the gorge, you know, yeah, yeah. checking all yeah. the rest of it. I went to the car wash in Shepton and I thought, oh, it's good here. They've got snow foam. You've got, yeah. all that, you know, the self-service job. Yeah, I like yeah. that. So I was getting all the foam in everywhere. I was like giving it a real deep clean in around the engine everywhere. Thinking, that oh, can't going to start again. Looks pretty good. Like, because I, normally I just wash it with a hose at home. Anyway. Get in sat there watching it soak in. <laughs> left it, I left it ticking over. Took a few photos and everything. And then I was going home. Bum, 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 left bum, Shepton. Bum, 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 bum. Bomb. No, I left, that's it. I left it running in the car wash and it was ticking over nice and then it just went bop, bop, and died. <laughs> and I went, oh, bop, no, bop. this is no good. Everything like, was clean. <laughs> quarter past eight on a whatever evening. So I, I looked in the fuel tank and thought, well, I'll fill her up. So I managed to limp around the Tesco, filled it right up. I thought, right, this is it now. If she conks out again, we're fucked. Left Shepton, past the King Billy, under the bridge, up over that nasty junction, down and round, that nasty yeah. left-hand bend. On Pilton, yeah. Bro, died on the corner. So I'm there, like, Fuck. and I just thought some little twat in a Civic Type R is going to come round here, hugging the fucking corner, and just. So I managed to push it up the hill and try and get it working. And I thought it's probably got water in it or something because yeah. I've just washed it. So what's the fucking chances? Again, as we all know, I'm not a mechanic. I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> so I pushed it up to the gateway on the right hand side. I was turning it over, put the choke on, and it would start. So that's good. Turn the choke off, and then it would die. It would like rev like fuck, and then die. So I phoned Lee, she's half eight. She's at home with the kids, but she can't come and get me. I've got a trade on Discovery, so I'm thinking, hey, I'll get one of my mates, go to my house, get this, get it. and all this is going on. Anyway, I went to drain the fuel out of the carb, twin carb on that, and I've got a, I've got a Chinese carb, believe it or not. Oh, no. Because my other one had a crack, the OEM one had a crack in it, and it was playing havoc. So I bought a Chinese one, 50 quid from China, brilliant. <laughs> Been on there for five years, no problem. I didn't have any Leatherman or any tools on me, rookie error. Do they not have, like, your bike's got um, a tool, little tool get in it? Do they they not normally do that? when you buy them, yeah. yeah under, the seat. One, mate. under the seat, mate, yeah. No, nothing like that. It's gone. Your man so, from Cardiff used it to murder someone. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he's hanging Ten out the back of someone's head. <laughs> anyway, and they're tinkering around with it, thinking, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to have to get someone to come and get me, and blah, blah, blah. And then a guy on a motorbike drives past and obviously sees that I'm Struggling. broken down. So he stops. He goes, you are right, mate? Oh, no. Have you got a Phillips screwdriver on you? He goes, yeah. Hang on a minute. So he pulled up and I think this is 
He gets off his bike, literally in his pocket. He's got a Phillips <laughs> screwdriver. Oh, you're going to die. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. He was nice. <laughs> no, he was a good guy. Yeah. Why has he got a Phillips screwdriver? Yeah. You, you're going to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh, you dead. <laughs> and I thought, oh, nice one. And he goes, what are you trying to do? I said, and I explained to him. I said, Look, I've just washed it. I reckon I got water in the car, or somehow it's fucked. Uh, and so he was down there like, looking at it. He pulls the fucking spark plug off and goes, well, that's a bit corroded, isn't it? And I look at his hands and they're grubby. I look oh, at him got... and I go, are you a mechanic? He goes, yeah, I am, as it goes. And I was like, oh, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, he's going to sort this. Or oh, fuck me in the ass. So he gets the HT lead and co- tidies that up because it was rotten. I don't know. He goes, that's a bit fucked. You want to put a new spark plug in there as well and doing all this? And I was like, brilliant. I'm having a roadside service here <laughs> by this guy. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll get me going. He goes, give that a go. So we started it, choke on. He said, he got fuel in it. He takes the lid off and looks in. I said, yeah, full tank. He goes, right, start it up. And it was fine. And I thought, well, that's good. He goes, also, your fuel line's a bit corroded. He came up with like an MOT certificate thing. He's like, <laughs> your fuel line's corroded. You, you need a new spark plug and a lead and blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fucking worry about that. Just get it running. Because <laughs> I live quite far away. It's getting dark and this, that, and the other. And he goes, tell you what, I'll follow you down the road just to check you're all right. And at this point, I thought, what a fucking nice guy. Because if I passed someone with a bonnet up, I'd be like, ha, twat, and just keep going, <laughs> wouldn't you? Really, I've got places to be. I can't fucking stop. So he followed me down the road, down past the crown, and then it conked out again. And then he, he pulled over. He goes, look, you're going to have to keep, keep, um, what are we doing? Taking the, taking the, oh, the fuel tap. Anyway, we we're fucking around with it. And I said, look, I'll limp home. Thank you so much. And uh, his name was Brian. He lives in Shepton. He only drives three wheelers. He's only got a bike license. So I don't know if anyone knows him, but he was fucking useful. Anyway, I go down the road, conk out again. And then I'm like, Brian's a nice guy, but he hasn't really solved the issue, has he? <laughs> I'm stuck outside the apple tree now. I've got thinking. a wanky MOT stuff. Fuck it out. I'll tell you what it was. You know, on top of the fuel cap, we've got a little breather, a little ball bearing in it. Stuck. That was stuck. from China, <laughs> wasn't it? So I, as I was running, it kept going up, it. pulled that off, threw it in the hedge, it ran fine. <laughs> Couldn't fucking believe it. I was high as fuck by the time I got home. <laughs> <laughs> I drove home. Petrol over your lap. Out. Yeah. Oh, anyway, it was just one of those fucking... I thought the Chinese car was bad enough, but that little Chinese breather just goes to show I buy, I, buy proper stuff. I yeah. had the same thing this week. I drove. I was coming around a bend, and I literally, same thing, I saw a bloke on probably like a Honda 600 on the side of the road trying to push it. He was trying to get it into a gateway, and he was really struggling. And uh, I was coming up past him, and I put the window down. And I was like, fucking organ donor, and just carried on. <laughs> <laughs> Because fuck him, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas well. if I saw you broken down on a quad bike, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man is out. He's doing the government out of some form of tax. I'm going to help him. <laughs> anyway, lesson learned. Anyway, I really carry got, tools with you. That's I'm, what I need. I'm looking forward to the day you get pulled over by the police. So um, uh, going back to that, when I first got it and it was agri registered because I bought it like it, I, I went, I, I wanted to find out genuinely what would happen if I got pulled over because I wanted to take up Salsy Plane. And obviously that's a bit different out there because it's not PCO fucking and, and, and you like finding those swans. It's the real it's police. It's proper fucking <laughs> MOD. Yeah, they don't fuck about. No, they, they, it's, the, it's the local cops, but they've got four drives, off-road motorbikes and yeah. helicopters. I've been chased. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. Well, what I didn't want to do was see my quad bike get run over by a tank in front of me because it was agri registered. But you can't find out. You can't find out. No. what the, It's such a grey area. Like you said, if you're on diesel... You can use red if you're going, certain, you know, five miles from yeah. your farm. But if it's petrol and I haven't got a fucking farm, then what the fuck? I can well, say, you're I, looking after my a, estate. It's here. a, it's yeah, a certain, there is that. It's a certain distance between the land you own or manage. That's your radius. So oh. like, if you've got like land all over the place that you're in a manage, and you say, well, I use this to get to X, Y, and Z. I use this to totally I've got to go to Marlon's help him with his gates. And they I'm get, the estate say, manager, right? If you right? get you pulled the over manager. and they say, uh, excuse me, Mr. Austin, uh, where uh, where are you going? You just say, I am actually going to shred NAR. So. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but if they follow me, it comes up on the AMPR saying taxed and insured. Well, you that's, know? All, that's all that matters. But that's all that matters. So one day I'll go to Salsy Plain, but... Until then, I'll just enjoy some free motoring, I think, or four wheels. <laughs> Anything that takes money away from the government, it makes me <laughs> yeah. happy. So, yeah. What about you, Keith? How's your week been, man? Um, it's been an interesting week. So it started off really, really great, and then kind of declined. As you got so, here. Really? As you got here. on Tuesday? How bad I, I, I has it gotten? <laughs> well, I don't know. Some people might look at it as bad. Some people it was good. But, like, I had a great weekend. So Saturday was fantastic. Sunday, fant- lovely weather. Yeah, Down the Father's Day. Yeah, did you get uh, spoiled for Father's Day? Should, yeah, I did actually, Good. and I'm going to shout my boys out here because they always like the kids will sort you out something through their mum 
Do you know yeah. what I mean? I wake up in the morning. Or get through your, school. School yeah, sometimes. Yeah, they've got some like sort of hand stuff. painting stuff. Hello, Dad. Yeah, we yeah. love you so much. And pasta, it, like... It's nice. And you think, oh, at least the teachers at their school are thinking about me. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> of course they would. But I woke up Sunday morning. My oldest boy, he was like, right, Dad. He said, get the guns out. We're going to the shooting grounds. Oh. So I'm going to take you out shooting. Was he driving? Was he getting the car? <laughs> yeah. We're going. <laughs> so um, he said, I hope you cleaned them up. I was like, of course I have some. So um, yeah, we went up to the shooting ground and my boys bought me breakfast and then took me around for a round of clays. And um, yeah, we had a fucking fantastic day. And then an old friend of mine that I went through training with, he got in touch and we ended up going down to town and meeting up, had a couple of pints downtown and everything was fucking lovely. And I thought, you know what? This is a fucking great weekend. Um, and then I went to work on Monday and I thought, I feel fucking good. This is mega. And then I got told I got to go and drive the duck. And for anyone that doesn't know what a duck is, it's basically what Bedded a normal creature on yeah. the water mainly. And I don't they're, they're too small basically <laughs> and quack a lot. <laughs> so um <laughs> a, a duck, it's, it's a digger with yeah, it's, sorry, a digger. It's, it? it's got wheels on it not tracks. That's yeah. Weird it's as fuck. not it's never right in it. It's like having sex with minors. It's just <laughs> Some people like it, like the Muslims, but it's frowned upon in other communities. So, um, I go to pour a pint for two <laughs> Anyway, cut a long story short. A few months ago, obviously, my boss had approached me and said, look, one of our machines become available. Are you interested? And I said, in a polite way, no, because they don't interest me. And also, they, they set my anxiety off. That's right. I get triggered. <laughs> <laughs> He needs a safe space. <laughs> I, I start wearing that rainbow colour t-shirt and yeah. get all involved. But, um, <laughs> get all involved. I've, I've gone from Keith to Karen. Um, so anyway, when I went on a Monday, I went, look, oh, one of our drivers has gone man down. He's fucking, he's proper fucked up. He went all Chinese on us. His eyes had puffed up and fucking gone all wrong. So uh, we were oh, wrong. He, yeah. he had an allergic reaction <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> My dog had that once. I was like, oh, greetings, no man. <laughs> so he's at home laughing his fucking dick off at the I moment while I'm driving his machine around. But it's that, look, it's for me, I'm not, I don't feel confident. I, I don't drive them. They're, they're not my yeah. thing. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, I've gone from the stability of having a bit of heavy set of metal underneath you to four fucking wheels. It bounces around everywhere. Who's it got tyres on it then? It's got yeah. four wheels. Yeah. So it's a digger on wheels. Basically. It's a digger on... It's just... What's, what's it doesn't make sense. So, so you take them on a road? It's, it's a basically like a finishing tool. on a road? No. no what are they going to do? Yeah. Stop you? Uh, They're going to kill those. It's all right around the lane. Stop them. That's a fucking basement. Marv didn't kill a fuck. <laughs> In the right place, they are an amazing bit of kit. But it's not what I do. I don't do that. Is it's advantage to run on the road better? Well, like, for example, if you was on a site and you've got a hard standing to work around, like a bit of a, a road to work off of, or like something flat and solid. Tarmac. Great. Like, yeah, like some, where tracks like, if would you're, tear it up. Yeah, if you're on like a house bash, then you'll have like a bit of a base coat down already, wouldn't you, of the black stuff to work around. And they're right. great because you can put your forks on it. You've got the grippers and that. You run around, pick pallets up, drop this, move this, move that. They're fucking fantastic. But it's just not my thing. Anyway, not only that, I mean, this thing's brand new. Well, nearly new. It's immaculate inside. So I'm, I, I like this. This is nice. It's a nice environment to be in. But it's like the fucking Starship Enterprise, mate. There's so many fucking buttons and pulleys and bells and fucking like whistles. On. Mate, all I want is two fucking sticks to pull. That's it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm fucking lost. My brain's gone into fucking Do you think this is the point. This is the point here where you have become old. And I don't mean this in a rude way. It came to me this week as well. I, where no, you're you just know. like, <clears throat> I don't understand all this <laughs> bloody gizmos. <laughs> So when like, I got in my this JCB that I've got and it had two new switches, I was like, oh, I don't fucking need all this shit. What fucking need all this crap for? Fucking nonsense. I was like, oh, it's happened. Fuck. <laughs> so about, I think it must have been about a year ago when I was on that greenhouse job, we had a machine come in, which is all fitted out with a steel wrist. So like for people that don't know, it's an attachment that goes on into your arm. It's cold as fuck. Spinny and you can, you can spin your bucket around 360. You can tilt it up like 40 odd degrees, whatever it is. is and these cunts like, haven't got enough access to work on. They always give themselves another 360. Jesus, yeah, so I like, struggle with it, one it, stick, let alone two. It takes some getting used to, but after a few weeks, I started to get the hang of it. Now, I'm not no fucking Jedi in it. Don't get me wrong. Can you make a cup of tea with it? Can you like pick up a teaspoon no, and mate. Like stir a mug? No. Oh, those, no. guys, those guys on Instagram are so gay. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can drop a tea bag. 
bag into a cup. Fuck off. Jesus. Who cares? Drive the Do fucking your fucking lo- job. You're wasting time. Drive the lorry and pull some levers, you prick. Can't think of chocolate. Put the sugar in it. Thank you. <laughs> but oh, that's not how you brew a tea, lad. <laughs> I started to get used to it. But then it's one of those things that it's like, you know, you don't forget to ride a bike, but you just, you're a bit wobbly to start off with. So when I've jumped in this machine, it's fitted out of all this steel wrist bollocks. Do you know what I mean? Which has been <laughs> ideal and very handy over the last couple of days. So I'm We're now doing trying, tea. I'm trying to get my head around how all this works again. And I'm fucking it up royally. I'm making a right <laughs> mess. Do you know what I mean? Like I look like the fucking, the retard on site at the moment. <laughs> like I've gone down. But the thing is as well, when you put all this extra weight on the end of this fucking digging oh, arm yeah. over the wheels, it's a recipe for disaster. So we all know it's been warm over the last couple of days. I've had the aircon on full chat. Yeah, my bollocks are white. I've been fucking dripping in that machine. I am so fucking nervous, no mate. No, the aircon's fucking amazing. The, the lads are climbing in to cool off. But like, I'm just in overdrive. I'm just like, fuck, 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 press fuck. press that on, I see ejector seat. Mate, I, drove over a, I drove over a fucking pebble the size of this lighter. <laughs> I thought I was going to roll the cunt earlier. I thought I've got to get out. I've got to get out. <laughs> like, so. Oh, you ought to come load trailers on my yard someday. No, thank You'll you. have a great time. I'm fucking eight metres out with six tonne in the grab and the lights are screwed. The lights are beeping. <laughs> the lights are flashing. The sirens beeping. And I'm swaying. I'm like, yeah, this is living, baby. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been trying to grade the fucking thing off for the last couple of days. <laughs> oh, great, that off, boy! So, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting one. It's been good. Like, we've had a laugh on site. The, the lads have been great. Morale's been high, which is fucking nice. But I've been pushed way out of my depth. And, like, the boss came out today and he's like, all right? I was like, yeah, you all right? He's like, have we converted you yet? I went, absolutely not. Absolutely Where's fucking not. <laughs> he's probably listening to this now. Do you know what? No. no. <laughs> I don't mind helping you out, but fuck me. No. <laughs> More of a chance of converting me to Islam. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> How long are you in it for then? Did, did you probably, don't... probably for the rest of the week, unless this fucker hurries up and gets back to work. Oh. So I'm going to drop him in a minute. Oh, puffy. Yeah, all fucking puffy eyes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Go and take some fucking antihistamines or something. Get back into work, you soft cunt. <laughs> oh, fucking prick. I'm waiting for the swelling to go down <laughs> in the little bag, Keith. I'm sorry. Fuck oh. me. Honestly, I don't know if he's got a fucking allergic reaction. He's got fucking pink eye. He's all fucked up and all sorts he is. So the, the review on the duck is uh, is uh, is still out at the moment. You get yeah. at the end of the week, you'd be like, fucking love it, no, bitch. No, do you know what? I was tracking around a day. I thought, oh, I'm picking up some speed here. <gasps> fucking getting quicker at 4.5k an hour. It's like oh. Austin Powers on the, <laughs> <laughs> on the steamer. Move, move, baby. But do you know what? I, 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 I will... I will say it, I give it to the people that drive their machines day in, day out and make it look fucking easy. You are breeding your own. Like, honestly, and he makes it look effortlessly. He, what he does, like, the cunt's fucking smashing around with a trailer on the back and just fucking picking stuff up as he moves along, backwards, and in and out of fucking chicanes. Like, I can't even get through the fucking gateway at the moment without fucking hitting something. Like, fuck, what's going around Watch this? Mass, Watch mass. Mass. At one point, I was, so all the steering on it, it's not just on the steering wheel, it's on the levers as well. Is so, it two yeah. wheel steer or four wheel steer? Two or four. Oh, and God. You got, and you've got crab and steer. And you've got crabs. Yeah. Oh, it's like a JCB. That's cool as fuck. So you've got this, like he gave me a bit of a fucking rundown now, it all kind of works and then fucked off quite lively. And I was like, yeah, nice one. <laughs> so, <laughs> for his tiny little eyes. <laughs> but fortunately for me, it's all on the screen now, so you haven't got to go Google or YouTube. You, it's all on the display. You can, the Lieber it, 2050 <laughs> <laughs> is one of the most equipped rubber ducks in the world. <laughs> It tells you what to do, right? It's fucking you know great. the ones. Yeah. Everyone knows the ones. When you get, we've just got um, a new bit of kit in at work, and I'm like, I've never used it before. It's dyad kit, and I'm like, what? Well, how does it work? And you go to the YouTube videos. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say what it is because I'm not going to. <laughs> it's definitely not illegal. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it might be. It's not. It is. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, this does everything you needed to do and more. <laughs> Just go through the 14 start menus to install the first of 78 programs. And that's the, it come with a CD. Fucking hell. Oh. What's got a CD drive anymore? Not a lot. I had to take the cunt home and dig out my old fucking Windows 98 laptop. <laughs> MS-DOS. <laughs> Honestly, it's so Just confusing. Just loading the VHS. I'm putting that dodgy floppy in again. Aren't I? <laughs> go check go, go check television. <laughs> Top pornography. <laughs> I'm trying to drive a digger. <laughs> but yeah, so like, I'm, I was 
we're, we're, I'm trying to go into the building, right? So we've got like an opening, which is pretty much the width of the machine, right? And I'm driving up through, and obviously the the steering's obviously hydraulic. Now it's obviously worked off the levers. So yeah. it's on like a scroll toggle. So like you like move it left and right on the back end of the oh, lever where your index oh, finger no. is. Yeah, and it stays. Oh, no, so no, you've no. got to like flick it no, a little no. bit and flick it back that little way to like straighten the wheels up and get it where you want it. It doesn't like roll. Yeah, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't self-center. And then the accelerator is hydrostatic as well. So as soon as you take your foot off, it'll come to a stop and hit yeah, the brakes. Yeah, and they apply that. automatically yeah. as well. So I've done a couple of stoppies. <laughs> They're cool. You wear a helmet and your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking RV price up in there, man. I've got to put a gum shield and a crash helmet on. So I was going in early and I thought, I've nailed this. I fucking nailed it. I'm going through and I'm picking up speed. I'm at like five and a half K an hour. And I thought the boys are going to think I'm cool as fuck. I'm kicking up dust, right? And I thought, shit, I'm going too far to the right. I'll turn left. You've got a 200 fuck. meter railing on the back no, of it. No, I'm, I'm not turning left. My bucket's doing a 360 spin. I've got the wrong fucking lever. I was like, oh my Tony fucking Hawk. God. <laughs> From button on the controller shack. <laughs> Honestly, they must have been looking out their office window today thinking, fuck me, what is going on out there? They're loving it. Next week, they'll be like, Keith, can you do the duck again, please? <laughs> never, mind the the fact that, never mind I didn't put the orange beacon on. They're more worried about me getting through the fucking gateway. <laughs> Keith's load, unloaded off the trailer. He's coming in a half pipe. <laughs> Even flow. <laughs> that was a great idea sticking me in that machine, wasn't it? Oh, so, God. Yeah, and obviously, the ruthless amount of shit that I've been getting is... But it's like it's a groundwork site, isn't it? it yeah. You could just turn in and breathe and you get ripped the fucking yeah, new mate, arsehole. Same so. as a workshop. What are you doing, mate? Fucking living, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? A fucking BMX truck, you cunt. Fuck, you know. I'm supposed to fucking level it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Reg. I'll spend ages on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's what the old man wanted. I promise. <laughs> oh, I so, yeah, my week's been oh, all right, great. thanks. I'll let you know next time how we get through to Friday. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you've had a better time inside a duck than I have. I find it awfully tight. But anyway. Um... <laughs> and it's not good eating afterwards. <laughs> I take it out the Chinese. They give me a crispy boy. <laughs> Peking. Me a few pancakes and all like. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Uh, that has been a fair old how's your week been? So I think it's a good time to uh, cut to a break and we'll, uh, we'll enjoy the second half of this wild, wild episode. But before we do, a massive shout out! Orly Fox, the sponsor of this episode, they are going to look after you, all of your tax and accounting needs. Do you have an accountant? That, do you struggle to get hold of him? Is he one of those guys that you leave a message to and he gets back to you three days later? Why are you paying him all this money? At the end of the day, if this is just a guy that you can only get hold of roughly twice a year, once when the VAT's due and once when the accounts are due, it's not the kind of guy that's going to be looking after you. It's not a nice working relationship. No, and he's not fighting your corner. And that's what you need in an account. A guy that's going to know all about the ins and outs of, you know, tax, VAT and what you're allowed. That's the main thing. You, With the guy that you're working with at the moment, he probably doesn't give too much of a shit about you. You are just another and you're just another line, itemized line on the bill for him that you just take 700, 800 quid a year off and that's it. Not Orly Fox. These guys want to know the ins and outs of how the business works and where... Of you, a duck's ass. And where... <laughs> God. And where, and where you are missing out on things and where there are allowances for stuff and what sort of tax relief that you could be entitled to because at the end of the day, you got to pay the right amount of tax, but not too much tax. I don't pay more than you need to. That's the thing. A lot of accountants out there, they don't really give too much of a shit about you. You're just, oh, yeah, yeah, send us your stuff. Yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. There you go. Just sign that. All right, cheers. Not Holy Fox. These guys are the ones to go with. You might know all about your job, and that's what you do, and you might not know a lot about finances, like myself, like Marlon. Get in touch with the guys at Holy Fox. These guys, a good accountant will save you more than he costs you. That's the main thing. Get in touch with the guys down there at Orly Fox. Let them take care of all of your accounting and tax needs. Hit them up. Links in the episode description. Links in the bio. Big up, Kieran. It'd probably go for a beer with you. The guys are fucking chad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to cut to a short break. Uh, get a drink of the week. And we'll be back shortly. We love you, love you, long time. Bye-bye. Reggie's back from the fridge. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
some things have been said in the break. Join the patron. Uh, right. Um, yeah, so uh, what? A mile on Dream of the Week, Dream of the Week. What have we got? What have we got? So we have Labatt Blue. Goddamn. Brought to us, well, sent to us. Sent to us. By um, a, a dear friend and listener of the show, Mr. Trucking Old School, Mr. Mike. Pelo- Mike. Mike Pelosi, pick up your man. So uh, without further ado, Marlon, it's not your time. It's Mike's time. Mike's going to read the marketing bullshit what? for us. Crank that shit tonight. Let's go. Today, I have brought to the doghouse Labatt's Blue, brewed by Labatt's Brewery, established in 1847. Labatt's Blue was first brewed in 1951, a Pilsner lager that many say, I think I saw that in America. Labatt's Blue is a favorite amongst Americans because it is superior to any horse piss they brew in the <laughs> USA. As a Canadian, and stop saying, oh, you're a Canadian, you're from America. Fuck off, America. <laughs> we cannot get drunk on any American beer. But stand an American in a corner with a Canadian beer and watch them piss their pants before passing out after the first beer. And don't confuse us with America, because we are above the Americans. We are their hat. They are our ass. Or as many like to say, Canada is a beautiful resort built over a meth lab. Sit down and enjoy a good blue, boys. You're going to like this beer. <laughs> that's done me in that's the most interesting marketing bullshit I've ever had <laughs> oh you man I tell you he can sell snow to the Eskimos that bloke right then uh, very, I'm, I'm intrigued it looks a nice sort of very lively very lively of, very yeah it's about a similar colour to bird maybe a little touch darker uh, yeah a touch darker than bird we'll see what we reckon right oh it's quite Quite f- I got sharp. F- yeah. I wasn't going to go with sharp. I was going to go with um It's quite f- it's full bodied. It's nice. It's, these fucking Canadian lagers are deceptive while well, pilsner. They're deceptive cuz they look piss water fucking clear. But they're always like real full bodied and like just I don't know. Some are, some aren't. So like when you pulled that can out I thought oh, it was just another can of coconut <laughs> Canadian dry, do you know what I mean? Like but that to me tastes like another, another brew. It, they do another beer out there called Alexandra Keith, which is very similar. Well, to me, it tastes very similar to that. That's quite a nice. That's that's that's, that's, a nice your, drink. that's like a nice old dare. Like <clears throat> yeah. I, I find with Amstel, yeah, four, five, six. That's me done. But that that's definitely a you know just if it's like Foster's. It's like it's got the lightness. Oh. Of, it's like, no, no, it's got the lightness of Foster's, but it's got the flavour that it's just like oh you know what it's not just gassy horrible shite. What do you think, Marlon? You're a you're a light beer connoisseur. All if, right. If Budweiser fucked pills in the Eurocal, or no, yeah. not pills in the Eurocal, uh, Star Pramen, that's where we. It's we'd very be. very lively, and you can taste its um, carbonation. Mm. The bubbles. Yeah. Mm. The bubbles definitely give it a good bit of life. What, yeah, they what, pop. And- what are you saying, Will? Mm. I wouldn't normally drink that, but I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I, don't, I, and I don't know why I haven't got the sort of terminology you've got for it. I'm full disclosure. I just like it. I've fucked up and I got the wrong beer in the fridge, and so we've had this one vaguely fucking warm. So, and everyone's seeming to be on the positive side of things because if you gave me a warm Budweiser, I'd probably throw it out the fucking door. If you gave me a warm Budweiser, I think I'd have Glastonbury. I think I was a happy, <laughs> happy man. Not this year with your fridge. I know. Oh. You'll be loving it. No more warm beer for you, boy. No fucking, no bag beers for you. Oh, oh. mate. Oh. I'm not going to know myself. I know. <laughs> um, what are we saying then? It's all right. I'd have another one. I'd have another one after that as well. I'm at a four. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm sit, I'll sit with you at a four there, Marlon. I, I like that. That's good, man. I've, I mean, I'm not like a lot of these drinks. We have a few sips. And it's all right. I can't finish it. I'm on cider. But no, it's fuck, this is good. I do find that depending on where you buy your beers in the world, they all, they've all they all got a bit of a distinctive taste, haven't mm. they? So when we did Around the World in 80 Beers, oh, fuck me. when you drink the beers, oh, like, like, and the, like, so you've got like your, PTSD damage. your, 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 your Cypriot Wild beers time. and then you've got your Spanish beers and you've got your German beers. They've you, all got a bit of yeah. a distinct... A specific taste. Yeah. And that just reminds me of getting fucking messed up at the Calgary Stampede. So that is a fucking five from me. That's, that brings back good memories. That's a nostalgic drink. I like, like two it. two fours and a five, is it? Yeah. 
Mr. Austin, where yeah, are you? I am a cider drinker, as we all know, but I also like to drink anything else that has at least 5% on the can, which it does. Is I'm that 5%? Gonna... Yeah, 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 no, you wouldn't know, would you? Jesus, I thought that was like a 3.7, 4. Ain't no Bud Light shit. I'm going to give that, and I'm going to think about it a little bit longer. Five. Five? I'm going to give it five. Two fours and a five, yeah, right. Coin definitely, coin strong five. He's got a coin. Coin flip time. No one's got a coin. Yeah, I've got to make, I do cash. I don't do there's fucking coin. There's, there's a grenade. Living a disgusting <laughs> cash what, society. What sort, what sort of coin do you want? A I one or a have a copper one. Copper one's good luck. <laughs> tight bastard. <laughs> you can keep it. Right, heads is five, tails is four. Way. <laughs> Let's do that again. The lively what? one. <laughs> Fucked it up, so I was trying to... Tails, four out of five. That's four out of five for... What was it called, Marlon? Where's the can? Labatt Blue. 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 Labatt Blue. 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 Right, awesome. Uh, before we get back into the episode, a massive shout out to the sponsor of the episode. It's Sean the Chef, Marlon. Ah, it's Sean. back. Buy his biscuits. Sean the Chef <laughs> has been kicking the fucking shit out of it recently. I, 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 as I've said ba- before... Bath and West sold out. Your man sold out. And well, I mean... Most of these traders that go to the Bath and West with all their fucking wanky wares and weird, you know, come and look at pan my trinkets. They, them masters are taking <laughs> out their <laughs> stock with them. Not Sean the Chef. Sean sold the Chef out. sold the fuck out and he is done. Uh, this guy, it, his stuff is unbelievable. I mean, he sponsored the show a lot. So, you know, we only take on good sponsors on this show. We only take on sponsors that will support the madness that we do. So you can understand that he's a decent guy, but not only that. We only support the people that we know do good shit. And oh, does Sean do some good shit? Oh, I hell. I got us. Have you seen? He's shit so good, he had to go on a weight loss program. It, Mar- <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got- just can't. The thing is, when I see it, I just can't ignore it. Do you have any so idea? I've got to eat it. Do you have any idea, Marlon, how hard it is on a Sunday when he's like, bargain box, 10 quid for five. I'm like, I'll be right in five minutes. <laughs> Sean, I'm on a diet. Sean, stop it. <laughs> I, oh god that, have you seen he's doing the banoffee blondies at the moment oh god damn I, I just don't know what to do with myself man I, I'm, I, I, it's like walking in the missus bent over that fat pooch in your face saying do you want a bit of this like, and you got to walk on past didn't you bargain box 10 pound <laughs> if she, honestly if, she, if I turn back up home and she had a she did she had a, for you as well she had a bargain box <laughs> of the banoffee blondies our oh, game over I just oh, fuck, I had a window give me that give me that thing yeah, I uh, honestly, Treat yourself, right? Sean, he makes some of the most incredible things in the game, whether it's blondies, brookies, cookie pies, slabs, cheesecakes. Your man's got oh, you covered. That Biscoff bar. Oh, mate, that oh, will blow your mind. I'm, 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 a, I'm a milky bay. I'm a milky, milky, milky bar. Milky like, bar, oh, mate. Oh, the bomb, yeah, they? You know the one. Yeah. You know the one. It is unbelievable. And do yourself a favour and let it warm up a little bit. Bang it in the microwave for 20 seconds. Get it all nice and fucking gooey. You let it stick even, to the roof of your mouth. Get in touch. With, get in touch. Get involved with some of the with some of the dessert sauces. He has sauces for desserts. And so if you got if you want to get the sugars, <laughs> you just gotta get involved with Sean, man. Oh hell. Oh, I just I, I can't preach it hard enough, boys. It's difficult. You, like it's trying to It's difficult to put a pro- across a taste on an audio platform. It'll blow your fucking mind. Uh, He's ev- out there supporting the diabetes, oh, man. <laughs> it's so, so good. If you get in touch, it's it, Sean. Kinder the sh- Bueno cookie pies. I uh, know that Gillian. Sh- uh, the Gillian uh, cookie pie, man. I'm, a, I'm an Oreo man. That Oreo cookie pie does me in every time. So if you go on the website, seantheshef.shop, you can check out. It is a build your own box that he's got on there. So you pick them. They are baked to order. So whatever you're ordering, he is baking for that. It is for fresh. That. It is. It's not just sat in a freezer and he's defrosting them. They are coming fresh to you. They are oh, just, oh, God. When, as soon as they go up, though, make sure you get on there because they do sell out yeah, really quickly. You got to follow him on Instagram at Sean the Chef One. You just check him out, see what he's restocking the website with. Get involved, build yourself a box. If you've got an event coming up, get your get your missus a cheesecake or a customized um, uh, brownie slab or a brookie slab or even an entire cookie pie. Your man's got you covered. Big up to our man Sean the Chef. Buy his biscuits. Big up. Buy his biscuits. <laughs> Uh, big up to uh, Sean the Chef sponsoring the episode. Uh, check him out. Links in the episode description. Links in the bio. You know where to find it all by now. And if you don't, you're scum. Uh, right. Anyway, so back into the episode. Marlon, what we doing? Reg, would I lie to you? Mm. <sighs> would I lie to you, Marlon? <laughs> would I lie to you? <laughs> Something in Please my stop. heart. Please stop. Okay. All right. We got vocal mics. Let me. Let me. Let me live, boo. All right. <laughs> 
Right, we're going to do what I lie to you. It's been a fucking hot minute and I love this episode. So do you want to kick us off, Marlon? Because you look like you're scrolling um, through that yeah, phone. Yeah, I, um, I can definitely try. Um, so it's exam time. <sighs> I got a D in uh, English Lit because I missed a question. One question? You got, yeah. What would you have got beforehand? A C? Uh, B or C, yeah. yeah. But how many of your questions did you get wrong? No, it's how English many, how, Lit. How, how so you've oh, got... How many questions are there? Oh, what? I English even Lit is like um, two, three, three or four two, questions. It's not on a lot because it's like you've got to write a lot. I can't remember anything about exams. Yeah. So you've um, got to see... He was doing his O-levels question. back then and Tyra's going... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Anyway, Marlon, uh, questions? I, question? uh, uh, I can't answer no questions. I don't even do these exams. <laughs> oh, let's call too early. I just stole the papers, didn't I? <laughs> uh, it's, the thing is, it's plausible. It's totally plausible because if it's only four questions and you miss an entire question, then they're going to mark you down to a D. If, you were, if there's four questions, you miss one, you were a C, you missed... You end up, yeah. Did yeah. you miss a question on purpose or was not, it a mistake? No, not on purpose. Okay, so you didn't. I didn't realise there was right. another on the question back of the, on uh, the. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, the only yeah. thing they PTO. preach. They preach check the back of the paper because there might be one on the back. That's what they always say. It's when you're well, finishing yeah. an exam and you're done, you look around, everyone's still writing for like 20 minutes, half you're an like, hour, and you think, <laughs> <laughs> you <geez>. dickhead, <laughs> you're all so fucking thick. I've done it. Because <laughs> it literally says that there should be a blank page that says end of test. Yeah. Or like, this is the end of the test, or this page is left intentionally blank. But no, you were like, <laughs> look at all these uh, fucking nerds. Everyone's still fucking writing. I'm fucking done. I'm playing Snake on my yeah. Nokia, bitch. Oh no, no phones. No Jesus phones. Christ, no phones. Oh yeah, I remember that. You get bummed. Uh, I'm going to say it's totally plausible. It, it, I, I wouldn't say like it's a lie or it's true. But I think like you said, if he'd missed the whole question, he wouldn't have done so well, would he? If there's only four questions and you got C, and and you missed I, one. I think to be fair, you must have done really <coughs> fucking well on the other questions. If he'd have said to us, "I would have gotten A," I'd have been like, "Bullshit, Marlon, you're a mong." <laughs> 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 Ain't no way you're getting a fucking A in English lit, you spaz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's true. Struggle spelling my own name now. Well, I was just looking at his eyes. Looking at my eyes. No, you're looking at Marlon's eyes. eyes. So I'm trying like... to see if he's a liar or not. No, I'm trying I to get I... deep in his soul uh... through his eyeballs. <laughs> His sweaty eyeballs. <laughs> I tell you what is true that he got a D, regardless of whether he missed the last question or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think that's true. No, no, I think he would have done worse. Oh, God, I don't I think, think to, he would have missed a question. I think I've he's got, too got, thorough. I'm gonna have to keep count here, aren't I? Yeah, right. Uh, are we doing scores. I'm doing... better at, haven't we? Where, where's Keith to? I think it's true. It is absolutely true. Yes, I told you. I told you. Ain't no one listen. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I fucked that right up. So what, you just missed the last, when did you missed the last fu- question? When did you find out you missed the last question? When is it after uh, when, the exam? When yeah, after the exam, it? when it's been graded and the head of English came yeah. up to you and was like, uh, no, because mum used to work at school. Oh, of course she and did, And she yeah. was speaking to mum and she, she, wrote Mailey. Mum, she was like, oh yeah, right. You realise you missed the question. Do you want to reset it? And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> when the fuck am I going to use English lit? Your... It's a waste of my fucking time. <laughs> Your mum used to abuse her power as a part of the school being like, son of mine, you've made a fudgy on the exam. Would you like to do it again? Save looking like a spaz. No, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> when that, like, oh yeah, no, I've really used English literature and Shakespeare like it's... numerous times throughout my uh, career fixing fucking cars. Yeah, that, that is true. I, I kind of get one in the best for your children and then being little cunts being like, no, don't need it. <laughs> All right, I've got one. Um, once I've finished taking a shit, I flush the, te- I flush the toilet and I remain seated during the flushing process. True. Not even asking questions, mate. Why? Because you still wa- wa- sometimes the water tickles my balls. <laughs> if I do a, a big shit, I do a shit flush shit. <laughs> shit flush shit. <laughs> sometimes I just like to I get mean, cold water mate, on my yeah, balls. Yeah, you're pretty yeah, that's a nice autistic. Feeling. So, are you just still finishing off the videos you've been watching on your phone? <laughs> Yeah, he's just mopping up the other mess he's made. <laughs> what, you, like, you wipe and everything, and if then I had just a normal size jap so I get it in the sink, but <laughs> it ends up on the floor. Doesn't make it past the lid, does it? <laughs> <laughs> just dribbles down in knuckles. <laughs> right, so you finish, you wipe, you turn and around and you flush. I don't even, I would sort of reach back, 
impressive flush while I just sort of sit there and just let the water just sort of wash the, the sort of base of my balls. Is this in the hot tub or the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Put the bubbles I on. just sit back down and let all the sort of nozzles do the work. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's true. I think, I think it's true. How much do your balls sag? <laughs> well, quite a lot because no, got... he was braining the other day and his fucking shorts are down to his knees. <laughs> I have quite an aggressive flush. Like, you know when it, all the water comes around and meets at the back and then comes sort of forward? It, it's got, it comes down quite far. They don't sag that far. Jeez, I'm not that old, bro. Come on, give me a chance. <laughs> on a cold day, I still make a chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> <sighs> Mom, we don't know what is uh, it. I think it's true. I, I think, think it's true. bollocks. No, I think it's true. Think it's got to be. I think what he goes up to when the doors are closed. Uh, Even when the doors are open, mate. <laughs> well, well, what did you say? <laughs> true. Yeah, right, Marlon? I think it's rubbish. And Keith? True. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think I am? I am not a monster. <laughs> it's a complete lie. No, it was only because I did it's it. It's all a facade, Will. For some it's, reason it's all today, just that. for some reason today, I did it. <laughs> And I was like, that was the most awful experience of my life. And I was like, Bollocks is, I'm doing it again. What, what if I, what <laughs> if I up, tell them up. that I do that every time? Because that was god awful. What does my assistant take so I'm going to fill up? Yeah, do it again, exactly. again. He just wants one of the Japanese I, toilets, doesn't he? I, I, I put shit in on the same level as coming. And I do not want that interrupted with cold water being splashed on me when I'm at my most relaxed. That is most vulnerable. Absolutely oh, I thought we not. had that then. I yeah. thought no. we got it right. God, no. Who the fuck do you think I am? Reg is in a press-up position trying to get your japs on your next, and they like, <laughs> fucking flush that. All right, go on then, Will. You can take your next one. Oh, hang on. I've got to look through my archive. Ah, things. yes. I've got to find something that's sort of in relation to what you two have done. Because uh, you had time good. to prepare today, which is a two leaves to think about, didn't you, mate? <clears throat> two leaves. Not these sour I'm about it. Sat there in a the fucking Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a quite a good one. Uh, I once lost my Glastonbury ticket while in the queue for Glastonbury. That is so fucking plausible. Oh, it is. But so then that you, just makes like, you look a proper mong, doesn't it? I've got to say, you're just, you are a mong. So. <laughs> <laughs> An so intellectual you had, mong. You double checked when you left the house, you had it. Yeah. Where did you put it? In my pocket. So, so, you, so, so, so you have a paper paper ticket. Yeah. Glastonbury. It's got a photo of you and your yeah. address. And it's, it's quite a big piece of paper. Mine's in my gun safe for that exact reason. Mine was in my pocket, in the queue. And obviously you keep checking. You've got everything. Da, 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 got my ticket, got my ticket. Got to the front Why didn't you queue. put it in your wallet? Uh, I because it's quite a big piece of paper. I don't know because I'm an idiot. I don't know. You couldn't squeeze it out of your fifty pound notes. You got four. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. yeah. I got so many receipts for fuel in there. That I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't fit the fucking ticket in. Got to the front of the queue and thought, shit, I haven't got clippings. the ticket. Walked back to the car, trying to find the ticket, and it couldn't find a ticket. And then someone overheard me talking that I'd lost my ticket, and she said, "Have you lost a ticket?" I said, "Yeah." She said, uh, I'll just radio through to security because we found a ticket. And she said, uh, what's your name? I said, Will. And then they said, oh, yeah, we got your ticket. You've got to come to security. Head of security bit and wait for them and to bring come some back. ID and prove who you are. Because yeah, your bring, face isn't exactly. enough to go with the picture. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then um, full interrogation. I had to sit in the sort of head of security camp for two or three hours while the bloke that picked it up had fucked off around the site in his truck, come back. And then I got it and went in. Three, four hours later, by that point, the tent what? was up. It was all sorted. Is that, were you going in B gate? Uh, yeah, around the corner from Mary's gate. Yeah, 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 that one. We parked at someone's house in Pilton. Parked my truck at someone's house on the driveway and walked in. I just dropped it on the floor. Really Horrendous, bad, very stressful way in. I can see your man there, head of security on the big S- SHB fucking roll around the site yeah, listening to what we're listening to now. <laughs> 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 Tom Petty. Love is a long, long r- Fuck his ticket. <laughs> I'm having a doob. Yeah, um, that's what happened. Any other questions, it's Your Honour? It's entirely plausible. It's entirely plausible. But I, don't, oh, I, am. I don't fucking believe it one ounce. Hmm. Uh, you are a mong, but you're not much that much of a spaz. Like, you seem to be... <laughs> You seem to be fairly with it and like... Well, it's thank a, you, Rose. That's the nicest a, thing you've ever said to me. What year was this? <laughs> ah, uh, trying to think what I had. I had a pickup. It was probably 2011, 10, 11. So I was, how old was I? 40. 18, 
1819. The fact that you've had to think about the exact year that this happened and what car you were driving then changes my mind that you are a spaz. <laughs> and that, yes, this is true. <laughs> when was the fallow year? Oh, oh they fuck fucking no. Let's Ooh, not go into the I old... I say that was... Uh, Hang on, 20... 2016. Uh, yeah, but he's... Uh, no, he, it was after, it was 18, wasn't it? Because no, I went 17. So they, they do it... He'll just every plead. four years. Every four. He'll just plead ignorance and say, Your Honour, it was a long time ago. I forgot. That. I'm going to say it's got. bullshit. Oh, no, yeah, I think it's, it's I shit. think it's, oh, no, I think it's true. I'm with Marlon on this one. I think he's chatting shit. No, I think it's true. Go on then, Will. It's true. Yes! Fucking <laughs> 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 so Remember I asked you when and you were like, what car was <laughs> I driving? I was like, got to be. I was walking no, back. No man that tells a lie thinks, oh. <laughs> what was that? Clapped yeah. out, wrapped it. It wouldn't fucking start. What mystery wizard you What mystery wizard Izuzu was I driving back <laughs> no, I'll tell you what though. We it didn't have a tiger stripes, we had the it, leopard spots. So. It was an Izuzu, but it wasn't the... Because I did have a mystery utility wizard bollocks. <laughs> After the last episode, <laughs> sent you the photos. I put it in the Discord. I had one. I bought it from Colin White's in Glassmy for eight hundred quid. It was a J Red. Right? Was it for genuinely years, for glass glass as a mystery yeah. wizard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the MU on the on the V five. It was a mystery. It wasn't a wizard. It was the mysterious <laughs> utility, and it was basically a Frontier, but with Izuzu badge on it and stuff. Um, so yeah, That's my missus is doing DIY. The mysterious utility. <laughs> <laughs> But no, this was a pickup version, so it was an Isuzu TF something. Oh. It was like a Frontier front end, but it was a crew cab pickup. Ooh, that's so, a yeah, so insanely I did weird that. vehicle that I've never seen. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I've, that's weird, and I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, Marlon, do you, I know, uh, Keith, do you want to go next? I own a guitar that used to belong to the lead singer of a famous band. What famous band? The Who. The Who? Exactly. Who's the, who, the, oh, the lead singer? How did you did get this guitar? guitar? Do you even play the guitar? Yeah. You do? So I tell you what, we won't get fooled again. She's going to have to take a pregnancy test. These dad jokes are getting wild. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> oh. What was his name? Oh, what, the lead I singer? The fucking tip of my tongue. Do you not know his name? Well, no. you should know because you bought a guitar off him. I didn't buy it. Oh, you robbed it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was given to me. Oh, Roger, oh, Roger Daltrey. Yeah, that, yeah. I was kept, what colour is it? I can't want to say Roger guitar Moore. Guitar colour. <laughs> well, like wooden. Yeah. Right. Acoustic or electronical? Acoustic. It was a pinball wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you played a guitar. You play a guitar? A little bit. A little bit. I try. He's a problem with him. He's so yeah, he's yeah, got, yeah he's nah, he's a, he has a poker face. with everything he says, he could be like, "Yeah." How much did you pay for it, Keith? Come on, I didn't pay no money for it. So you did nick it? No, I didn't nick it. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, from Slawinny. <laughs> it was it was gifted to me. Has it got like? Is it in a case or is it just on its own? Is there nah, any just be, certificate or it'll be bat, nah. battle worn? I reckon it's in it's in a case. Oh, it is. No, no, like like you know, a travel case, so I can get it out and use it. It's not like a. Fixed case, like stuck acoustic on wall. or electric. Acoustic. Oh, that's probably more likely, isn't it? Cause... Have you still got it? Have you? Ah. Yeah, it's at my mum's house. Okay. Does she play guitar? I don't know. I'm not asked her. <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to say Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think no, my mum's strumming, mate. I know that mean? story, and it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did your mate get it from? Uh, it wasn't my mate. Um, I got given it um, as a gift for my birthday when I was 16. Thing is with Keith, any of this could be fucking true. Yeah, That's no. a really I'm trying hard... to figure him out, and I'm looking at him thinking, "I want to smoke weed with Bob Marley." <laughs> <laughs> and and if anything could be true, his life, his life, his life, his life in the near South End could just be like. Yeah, yeah, that's totally plausible. So you were given it for your 16th birthday. Yeah, by who? My mum. By your mum, yeah. and where did she get it from? Well, she, she stole she, it. She was given. She was, <laughs> Someone yeah. fucking nicked it. Basically, <laughs> who were playing? Like, this is right. what we're trying to get to, Keith. Is who stole the guitar? <laughs> what, what do you think we are, thieves? <laughs> <laughs> um, my mum got given it as a gift by who? Um, I think it was my granddad. Right, and how do you think he got? How hold of far it? through From the family tree do we have to go to find <laughs> who's a the lot thief? of friends giving people guitars? I, don't, I can't ask him; he's not here no more. Okay, oh, look, God. I, I think it's bullshit. Because why would your mum give you a, gu- a guitar she was gifted? Because it's from granddad. Because it's, uh, it's, it's an heirloom. 
hot as fuck. Yeah, but you're, st- you're living in, at 16, you're living in the same ass. Ass. <laughs> oh, me, or ass. <laughs> you do you, boo. <laughs> what, sort of gu- what sort of guitar was it? What make was it? I, I haven't looked at the make. Sure? Yeah, I'd, I'd, no. that's it. If, if this I is the point had... where Keith finds out the yeah. fucking guitar's worth like 80 grand, he's <laughs> like, <laughs> going low, go down, <laughs> like a boat, go. So long, bitches. <laughs> like, surely I'd pay attention, I'd have it on the fucking wall or something. Have you owned any other guitars? Is that the only guitar you've ever had? No, I've, I've bought my own one since. What make and model, please? I, I don't know. I bought it in Spain when I was a kid. Oh, Squire right. strap. Um... <laughs> All right, just want to get some more detail out of you. That's all. Is it st- what? What does it look? Can like? you show the me acoustic? a G chord? No, we can't. <laughs> but using your voice, show us a G. One, one finger in the middle and one oh. each side of the flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that G chord. Oh, sorry. Um, I can't read or write <clears throat> music. No, neither can I. No, so can no, I. Just, <laughs> we're tab boys for and through. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah. yeah. Um, how do you know oh, it used to belong to him? Fucking difficult. I got told. Uh, so it could be bollocks. Possibly. Well, we're going on what what he but it, he's not saying a lot though. I think you need to say oh, more in your answer. Can we have more questions 20, then? Difficult <laughs> fucker, isn't he? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't want to so buy, you wouldn't want to buy a car off the fucker, Fuck would you? Know. Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Does it wrong? work? <laughs> yes. yes. Nothing <laughs> wrong with it. So can you tell me about it? Well, well, yeah. it's a car. It's a car. Oh, <laughs> There's yeah. the keys. It does work. I'm gonna say true because I'm. Re- I I don't. I'm just. I just fell on the side of true because I'm. I was so on the fence the whole way through the tale. The whole thing what? makes no sense. What? But the, uh, yeah. But do you know what I think he's done? When the fuck have give, I ever made sense? He's given us little information and been cagey on purpose to yeah. make us think it's bollocks. It could be true. It could be double fucking us. Oh, no, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> right. I'm going to say true. I'm going to fucking play you at your game. I reckon this is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on. Tell well, me it's true. Uh, Look uh, me in the eyes and tell me it's true. It's true, Will. Yes! <laughs> there is no certification to say that that's who it belongs to. I, so I believe you. It's just a stolen guitar, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I know the story of how it... But we're not, how it was about, acquired. we're not talking about well, uh, how, yeah. acquired yeah. mind. Bloody hell, that's a very... Misplaced? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marlon, you go next, round the table. I once got accused of drug dealing. True. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. By a police officer, by the way. By a police officer. By a police officer. When and where? What are you doing, cutting around? What did you try uh, selling him? So... <laughs> We were at college. Yeah, white sock browns. Right. And then when we were on lunch at college, yeah. we were at Bridgewater. Mackey's right. weren't too far away. No, I know the one, yeah. So there was a few cars going down to Mackey's. Yeah. We all pulled up next to each other. Standard. Handed some things over to another car, and they fucked off. And next thing we know, we're surrounded by police. It was only six chicken nuggets off a side, I yeah. promise you. <laughs> it was a happy meal, you dickhead. Oh, no, well, it was sitting sour sauce, fuck's sake. I was sat in a car with um, Dunners, and the cop, like, Reached in, grabbed the keys, and took them out. Oh, I'd be like, oh, that don't, is a standard. Oh, don't cost. touch my shit. Fuck off. Oh, it won't I start now, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> and then he then he came round to the window and he's like, put the window down. I was like, you've you got, the you keys, got the keys, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Electric windows, <laughs> flash can. <laughs> yeah, and so we were held there the for <laughs> an hour or so. Really? Yeah. I can see him saying. And what that did they say well. when he took the keys? What did he say to you? Well, not a lot, really. Oh. Uh. Hands on the roof, cracker. <laughs> keen on Ushag. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. So I went to Bridgewater College, probably not the same time as you, and I went to McDonald's a lot, and there was a lot of drug dealing, and no one gave a fuck about it. No. So I don't think the police give a fuck, no. to be honest. They used to Especially stay away from it, didn't they? It was too close <laughs> to that pub on the corner. What was it? The rifleman? Where was The yeah. one on the way back to college? Yeah, yeah. On, the, uh, on the left-hand side. That's it. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going... My knee-jerk reaction is bollocks. But I want to know more. So, any more questions? Yeah. Uh, what what, need, car, what, what car was it? Don't give him anything. Did you, sorry. <laughs> did you go <laughs> for the drive through or did you park work. up and get what your food? What day of the week was it? Oh, no. We, so, we were parked in not McDonald's bit. Farm in, foods, in mate. The, down yeah, farm in the down, foods. In the further bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the but bit, when in you the went complex. to McDonald's, did you go in for the drive through Always drive through Always drive through Always. Okay. Never get out of car. So, how long were you there for? So, we were held there for... 
45 minutes hour? What, was, you, was you late getting back to college? That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Did you have to explain yourself? Oh, was it, no, this was... Oh, it's college. No one gives a fuck. Oh, this is in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is lunchtime. Oh, broad daylight. Yeah. Raid. The oh. best time for drug dealing, Reginald. Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, prime time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing it at night is bait. Uh, <laughs> so what did they think? What did they think you were dealing with exactly? Well, they didn't say. Happy Mills. Yeah, that's odd though. I don't think. I think if you go down to Mackey's in Bridgewater at lunchtime and see some kids pull up, pass up from one window to another, that's not that's suspicious. Sketchy as that's not suspicious. Up. No, not at all. It could have just been Happy Meal, like you said. Like, I don't think so. I it's think not exchanging toys, were they? Yeah, it's not drugs. It's Child porn. <laughs> yes, some floppy disk going back and forth. Roger Cox, Roger Television, <laughs> Bridgewater College. There we go. <laughs> ITV News. <laughs> Hugh Jones, BBC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his fucking name was. I'm not convinced. I, I think it's bollocks. Ah. Oh. I don't think it is true. So who did they accuse? Did they accuse all of you, or is it simply you? Oh, no, the, the group of us. There oh, was... I've got a question. Did they search your car at all? Did, so, they, did they take the keys and just... No, they, what they ended up doing was, because there was three cars, right. and then we handed some money over to another car, and that drove off. Okay. Ah. <sighs> so the coppers have pulled you up, right? They've literally come out of the bushes. Right, they come out of oh, the bushes. Oh, they were in a car? We didn't see a car. They come out of the fucking bushes. On foot. Hmm. So they, uh, they've, they've jumped out of the bushes. They've asked you to wind your window down. You can't do that because they've nicked your key for the ignition. Yeah. You've got electric windows. You're a flashback. But then... <laughs> it wasn't after... my car. I wasn't in my car. I wasn't after in my that, car. What did they do? Did they get you out? So they... What did they say to you? Yeah, exact dialogue, please. Come oh. On. Oh, that, this is like, <laughs> boy, you better listen up. <laughs> did, how many years ago is this? I would did, have been did 17. They, did they arrest you? Under no. suspicion of... No, they held us there. But they, had your, but they had your car key. Under suspicion of drug dealing. So they did hold you under suspicion of drug dealing. Yeah. So you've they're going to hold you until they been... found out what? Evidence? They, what Citizens they... arrest. Yeah. <laughs> so they basically said... You've been detained. That's what they would have done. Um, you've We've just seen you hand money over. We're suspecting you of... And you, and you said, uh, drug uh, yeah, dealing. what are you going to do about it? We're going down the fucking... No, I'm 17. I'm going... Oh, sorry, Fuck. sorry. Right. What am I going to oh, do? Oh, sorry. sorry, mate. Sorry, so one, <clears throat> sorry. So when that happens, what happened after that? Right, um, we went into like, oh, that car's just driven off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we can get him back. That's not a problem. We can yeah. get him back. No, don't. He's got the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> so we rang him. Jack was driving, I think it was. Um, and he came back and they were like, yeah, didn't even search us. And then bollocked us for littering. I have another question. What exact make and models were the cars you're in? <laughs> what tyres were you right, running? It was every every bit of a detail you can give us, please. A silver 106. Quicksilver or GTI? I think it was a Quicksilver. Nice, Ooh, okay. 1.4. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the car in the middle. Well, ask it better might questions. have been Craig's Coupe. <laughs> Who? What? A Honda Coupe. Okay. And you don't remember the other one? That would have been... A a Burgundy 306 XSI. Ooh. Burgundy, Burgundy. He can reel off cars like it's going out tomorrow. Yeah, he's he's made made them oh, the, the XSI, so and chat phase shit one, five speed, two litre. Two he litre. can oh, say what the old bill was saying. The GTO 16 <laughs> valve. GTO 6 without the 6. Well, in that case, <laughs> it must be true. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's true. <laughs> There's far too much detail there. No, nah, I'm calling bullshit on that. No. I, I honestly don't think that in Bridgewater at lunchtime, I think there's so many things going on the police can't... I don't think it's true. No, nah, they probably... It's, it's, a, it's a sting. <clears throat> I think it's a sting. I think it's fucking bollocks, mate. Right, so you both think it's bollocks and I reckon yeah. it's true. I think you're lying It is absolutely true. Yes! No, really? We gave them some money to go and buy some chicken from Sainsbury's. <laughs> 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 and they thought we were drug dealing. Why were you buying chicken? More like a free... A what, was the nuggets no one? good? <laughs> Fuck's sake. I tell you, it wasn't me buying a chicken. It was. Everyone loves nug nugs from fucking McDonald's. <laughs> That's the most Somerset thing nugs. I've ever heard. I gave my mate some money to buy chicken from Sixpence. Was it from the hot deli? It Hell wasn't yeah, all. Brother. It wasn't all. <laughs> oh, man. I honestly thought that was bollocks. And I... then when he realised we weren't drug dealing, <laughs> yeah. he gave us a huge ream in about chucking burger wrappers out the car. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I've got to get them for Summit. Oh, right. Oh dear. So, uh, my next one. Uh, I don't actually pick up the dog shit in my garden. 
I mow it and pretend that I'm fert spinning, or at least tell myself that I'm fert spinning. I got this, guys. Lawn mowing, my area. Okay, a few questions. Go on. How long are the stools of dog poo on the lawn before you sp- spin, spur- well, spin them? Well, I've got them on like a mainly a raw meat diet with a 80-10-10. So. We're talking minimal poop. Yeah, minimal poop. Just and not only that, the sort of viscosity of well, said poop. It's going to be pretty tight together. It's yeah. a bit like 10 40. <clears throat> yeah. Or 80 10 10. So 80% meat, 10% bone, 10%, um, 10% organ meat. So basically, it's like it's like dog shit back in the 70s. White dog shit. White. You've seen it out Yeah, there. okay. Yeah. So it turns to dust when and you mow what, it. Have you got a, what sort of mower are you running for this job? I've got a Bosch. De- De- Le Bosch. Is it a Bosch? <laughs> it is Le Bosch. I bought it for Le 30 quid off Le Council <laughs> on a Sunday when the rent was due. <laughs> Bosch. Is it a side exit or a collector? It's what a collector. Of- oh, that's it's a co- that's got shit all up the shins written all over it. Well, no, it's, it's a collector. It's yeah. not a side exit now, with divert a valve. But, uh, well, actually, I'm not, I shouldn't Ooh. be... I shouldn't be just push it backwards with the flap open and it just sprays. I shouldn't be giving too much away. <laughs> I shouldn't be giving too much away, but what I do is I do a top cut where yeah. I skim over. I know the depth of my dog shit. So I <laughs> go over the top of the dog shit with the collector and then I crack her down two mil, three mil, and then I blow over again on a mulch so it blows, it obliterates the dog shit into the grass and it acts as a fertilizer. Without the box on? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm done it. for now. Well, usually, if you haven't now. got a box on the flap shut. Yeah, the flap shut. So it just By the way, I'm loving the lawnmower chat on the yeah. doghouse. This is <laughs> it great. Just, it, it, yeah, but you're, you're... Regardless of the game we're playing, I'm, I'm only, loving this. If I'm only dra- dropping height down another two notches, only battery. Hang on, how many to... notches you got on your mower? You can't go two men on one notch. That's unheard of. Well, I've got eight, eight, well, I've got no, 16 notches on there. Have you? Yeah. On a Bosch? Yeah. Bollocks. Le Bosch. <laughs> Bollocks. No, no, it's got, Bollocks. Eight, I mean, it's got eight settings and one between each one. Half gears. Split yeah, gears. Yeah. 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 Anyone else got any questions while I mull this over? I got, I got an eating box with splitter. <laughs> <laughs> any further questions? I've had my two. I'm going to think about that. I'm sure we've had a conversation before about yep. you picking dog shit up no. before you mow. Oh, can I just add, if you think he's going to pick his dog shit up, he leaves a pile of socks and once a year washes them. <laughs> oh, wait, those, so pi- I'm just- those <laughs> pile of socks are a sedentary piece of shit. Side note, those pile of socks are clean and paired. In the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the toilet now, they're clean and paired. I did them last night at you one o'clock Mount in the morning. You Vesuvius of socks. <laughs> pissed out of my tree. <laughs> I'm going to go and sort them I'm going to sort them. What, he's bollocks in the toilet. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of toilet chat today, boys. Yeah, no, that was, shit. Yeah, that was straight. Oh, no, that's, uh, God's honest. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, you cutting your grass is totally chat mow, as well, mate. Uh, do I not mow my leaves? You do remember mulch your leaves. Your I'm, lawn I'm, does look good. I'll I'm give you that. So mulching. you're saying you go over on a high cut, yep. and then you drop it down a bit, yep. and you go over it again. I don't know if it's two. I more sort of like kick it and push it a bit, and I think it's two, but it might be more. Will dog shit okay. be a, a good fertilizer? Uh, on the diet they're on and the breeds that they are, probably yes, it would be. But I worry that, it, I think, I don't know. I've I, got con- I, I don't I, know I, if it's fertilizer, but it's no, just because I'm, I'm lazy more just spreading shit around. With the stickiness of said stools. Oh no, you can go, it's like dust. It's white dog shit. It's like it, like I've never seen dust. dog shit on his lawn. And I peed on it a lot, his lawn. And I've never seen a dog <laughs> shit on there. I pissed on it a lot. I've never seen a dog piss on it. Last time I was on, you said, did you like my new flooring when you went for a piss? I said, I don't know, I went on the lawn. <laughs> I didn't use a toilet. <laughs> yeah, the wife is not happy about that dead patch of grass that is clearly you cunts. My dogs piss on the lawn furniture like real dogs. <laughs> I piss in a hot tub. <laughs> right, so we've got to start pissing on the chairs. Apparently. Anyway, so more questions. I've had a few questions. I, Keith, I, what do you reckon? I don't think I've got any questions. I think I'll make my mind up. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Marlon? I don't know. Oh, hang on a minute. Have you changed your dog's diet in the last 12 months? No, they've all, all of them have always been on the same diet for 48 months. No, no. Okay. Right. Uh, they, Interesting. Well, to be fair, they, I, uh, I buy different, like I buy from the same manufacturer, but it's different meats. So we have like a selection. So some of them are like black and horrible, but most of they got, them, they got a platter of meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When the yeah. sun's the out, board. Uh, when uh, the maybe sun's some out, shrimp, uh, maybe some venison. <laughs> when the sun's out, that'll turn that dog shit white in two days. In the winter, it never goes white because they don't get no sun on it. Oh, that's a good point. In the winter, you don't mow your lawn that we've much. Had not, we've not had a lot of sun this summer though, mate. 
And no, I can't no. see the ashes scattered over your lawn at the moment. You're great. Like oh, I'm, you, I'm not even going to let you go out. I'm not going to let you go <laughs> out there. I'm here. not going to let you go out there and see all the white fucking like poof. Uh, yeah, can I'm we do a, a lawn inspection before we make <laughs> our mind up? <laughs> we can pause this after this, after my bit and we can go and have a look and you'd be like, you bastard, Reg. No, How often do you mow your lawn then? Well, you try and do it twice a week. Do you? Yeah, I'm, I've, I've turned 30 and now I've got real pride yeah. in my lawn. I went around Mules the other day. I was like, Lawn's looking good, mate. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come around mine the other day. It's like, stripes in your lawn, Reg. I was like, yeah, boy. <laughs> that nose has just gone full juice back in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Bullshit. I think it's bullshit. Mate, uh, come on. I'm, you're, you're a fucking busy man, Reg. You don't have time to cut your lawn twice a week. And I've been in your garden plenty of times where the dog shit's been piled up in the corner waiting to go in the bin, right? Mark and avoiding like I'm sweeping a fucking minefield. You ain't hit that with a fuck, mate. To be fair, it was in the winter, but still, I don't think you've hit it with a lawnmower. It, it'll just split. Yeah. Everywhere. And with that lawnmower, mate, the, the underside of that lawnmower is going to be caked in poop. And you have three dogs. That's a lot of poop. And it's a small area. So here's where I am on this. I reckon he's gone out there today and it's been so fucking hot. It's vaporized the shit. So he's had a great idea, hit it all, and, and thought, gone, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to do this in the future. Yeah. But, but for the I last fucking... Doing it. Yeah, the really last 18 say. years I've known him, that very, hasn't happened. No, very good logic. <laughs> I'm not saying whether it's true or not, but it's good logic. I think he mows his lawn regularly because I think he's a man of discipline and he will do no, it. Also, yeah, whenever I come and look at the lawn, I do think it looks good. So I'm not... I'm That's because you're coming round, he makes a fucking I'm effort, not, Will. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> he knows your game. Like, I'm not it's like before I come in to put the hot tub in, he pre-leveled the ground off. He was like, look, Chag, I've got this squared. It's all right. I reckon you mow your lawn often. It, uh, but I don't know whether you pick your poo up or not. Oh, no, he really... picks his poo up. He does pick his poo up. But not I know where poo. he puts it. <laughs> he don't pick his own poo up. <laughs> I don't know. Also, you're just trying to, you're trying to suss out. Like when you did yours, I was trying to figure you out. You, regardless of the answers, you just look, you know, poker. Try and figure out what the fuck, you know. <laughs> what did you what are you both saying? Bullshit. You think I it's think bullshit. he's talking a load of poop. <laughs> My only concern is when it's winter, you've got three dogs. They poo a lot. Yeah. So in the middle of January. He uses these when the him. leaves are off oh, the trees. I, I won't lie, in the winter I pick them up. He uses the wife's horse okay, scoopy poopy that's thing. That's what he got, that's what he's out there. Yeah, that yeah. does yeah. change things. I think it's true. Well, I can confirm, gentlemen, that it is bollocks. I uh, am, yeah. I am yes. so, and you're wrong as well. I, no, 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 no. Which one of you? One of you's fucking wrong. I am absolutely. Regimented. You're all fucking wrong. I cut that grass twice a week, and I pick up dog shit twice a week. Yeah, I don't pick up. So you oh, pick up, and you pick then up you mow. Yeah. Do you pick up by hand? I pick it and up. Then you no, mow. not by hand. I got the poor horse scooper. <laughs> I got the whole, doesn't even put the no, gloves Jeffrey on. Does that. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. to be fair, I don't, out there. I don't do the first spin in the blackbirds do. They come and pick through the dog shit and sort of like spread it out. So I don't really pick it up if it's a bit of a smush. Uh, so I kind of let them do it and then I just blow over it and pick up the chunks after. But yeah, well, you took, well so, done, you took so long to discern that because I really need a piss. Now we're going to have a pause now because we're going to go out and look at Reg's dog piece. shit. Yeah, that's really and good. we're back from the lawn. And we're back from the lawn. There is white dog shit in Reg's lawn, just so we're all on the on the same wavelength. I don't know why that's such a brag, but and there is a mountain of socks that have been folded next to the toilet. Yeah, fold, I hope you yeah, fucked them up. Yeah. And them. I did try and sit down and wee and flush from did behind actually, without touching, <laughs> and I can't reach around. Yeah, you've so, no flexibility, man. Do some it, more I've yoga. I just rejuvenated myself puff. because the water did not touch my bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> But then I thought, shit, I better shut the toilet door while I'm doing this. <laughs> Dick in hand. <laughs> right then, uh, Will, your go. Okie dokie. Uh, right. My next one will be... Da, 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 da. My middle name oh. is a type of fruit. Oh. <laughs> Could be Jesus. anything, couldn't it? Yeah. Pomegranate. Let's, uh, Will Granny Smith uh, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Will Pink Lady Austin. <laughs> well, okay, that's it. Game over. <laughs> no, I'll play this game anymore. What that's kind, right. what kind it. of fruit is it? No, because uh, is it exotic us... or is it like homegrown? More home, yeah, local. Uh, it's British um, bat. Bat British farmers. It's a cucumber. It's nearby as well as it's. Uh, France and also UK based fruit. Oh, is it I a... want to say strawberry, but I know that's well, wrong. It ain't a grape, is it? Will strawberry Austin? It is a grape, yes. It is a grape. It is a yes. grape. 
Your middle name isn't Merlot, you cunt. Fuck no, off. it's not Merlot, no. That's a type of wine, not fruit. <laughs> it all makes drink. Is there anyone fruit for drinking oh. a soda? <laughs> the variety. Well, uh, type. So you're a type of grape. He did go Are we talking pri- green or dark? He did go to private school, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I so have loved- and it's such a strange thing so what's, to- what's your middle name then? Like Pinot Noir or something? <laughs> I got two middle names. One of them is a normal name. You will know someone called that name, and then a, a, my second middle name. Oh, you got a double barrel oh, middle name. Double, yeah. Have you, you got two dads? Have, you, have yeah, you got two dads? No, I've got oh. I've got none actually. Oh, dad, 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 dead dad club. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, boys. <laughs> well done, Keith. I'm we, done. See you later. They go, <laughs> they go for breakfast once a quarter. <laughs> Had the day off Sunday, didn't need to buy a card or anything. Yeah, Mother's Day's a quiet day for me and all shit. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> I call it my day. <laughs> Fucking isn't for me. She's like, oh, we're going to go over my mother's this is Sunday. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> this is my day. You know what? It's the only benefit of having a dead mum. I get to sit here with my balls out on the sofa. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Windows open a lot. <laughs> Got the blind open leading out onto the road. Oh. Hey, oh. baby. <laughs> oh, we've gone from grapes to this. I do not know. <laughs> Dinner. Welcome to the talk, guys. <laughs> right. Um, I, I, th- I, it's fucking true, isn't it? Because that's such like an obscure thing to make up. Yeah, but I'm. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, but no, no. I, can you? Have you got <laughs> right? Have you got proof for this? You got like some fucking headed letters at home, like yeah, utility bills. Pr- uh, yeah, not right now. I haven't got my wallet with me. Have I? Don't know. We well, should yeah. have. Uh, yeah. Will Why should Ponzi I? Break? <laughs> Do I need to get in here? Do I? James <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Leave that. Out. <laughs> What are you thinking then? He's a he's a he's a Pilton, you think he's, I'm a a North, fucking he's a Pilton oh. North Wooden boy, and he has got a fucking Ponzi middle name. Yeah. So, oh, has he? What's that? Hugh Hugh Barney McGrew, <laughs> Cuff and Divil, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm saying true. Yeah, but I want to know, I want to know what the it's a grape. It must be it's a grape. You said it was a grape. It's a grape. Yeah, Keith got that. I don't grape. know any fucking yeah, type what, of grape. I, I know red, or white or ones white. or red ones. Hey, Bridget, so do the, 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 the name of this grape <laughs> 19 yeah. grapes it, has, has it name it, does it name anything else like an alcoholic Will beverage no, so I've I've never heard of the variety of grape <laughs> oh you've never heard of it no. okay when... Will Casa Diablo <laughs> 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 Will Pinkfoot <laughs> Bedfoot <laughs> it's Whitetail <laughs> oh, oh god oh Jake Will Jacobs Creek. So when did you find out that, that this middle name is from a grape? So well, I've always known it's my middle name and always been really embarrassed about it throughout growing up and going to everyone, school. Loads of everyone that hasn't got a standard so what's, middle name. What's is the story behind it? Why name? did you get named after a grape? So the story behind it was well, they didn't like him very much. <laughs> my, yeah, my dad like was wine. an alcoholic. He was a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> he died of liver <laughs> loved a drop of red. <laughs> liver psoriasis. <laughs> it's a white actually. It's a white anyway, white. Sorry, my dad yeah. had a vineyard. Okay. Chardonnay. This all checks out. All of this checks yeah. out. He had a vineyard and he he planted, obviously, the vines for the vineyard and used to make wine. And uh, I got two older sisters. And then uh, there's like a 12-year gap between us. And then when he <laughs> still had got me, it, baby. one still of them's called Chardonnay. Yeah. He, he had me years. and then he wanted my middle <laughs> name to be variety of grape that uh, he... Uh, had in the vineyard. It all checks out. If this is a lie, this is really horrible. It's very, like, very you're elaborate. A, you're yeah. fucking horrible if you've lied about all this. And you just called me, my middle name's James, while my mum's a cunt. <laughs> so what's your other middle name then? Uh, what, before the... The, the normal posh, one. Uh, yeah, there's the normal standard English. Uh, P- Peter. P- Peter. Peter. Yeah, strong English name. Strong English Peter. name. I like that, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just trying to think what rhymes with Peter because sometimes you got to get something that goes with it. Yeah, you know. Bristol Water, Peter the Meter. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's got to be true. true. If this is a lie, this is I'd awful. Say, Joe, well, I'm going to buy into this, mate, and if you're fucking lying, that's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> what you think is rubbish? No, I think you're no, telling the truth. Do you think it's true? Yeah. It's true. It's got to be true. Why has it got to be true? 
Because yeah, it's too much of a backstory. You've brought your dead dad into it. The, yeah. the grapes that he he planted before you were born. This whole heritage and lineage and everything's involved in this tale. Do you all think it's true, though? Yeah. yeah. For fuck's sake. It is true. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> I thought there'd be more sort of questioning in that. Like, nice. Nah, it's fucking bollocks. It's no one's too... going to name their fucking son William Peter Saval Austin, no which is way. a type of fucking great. Saval or Saville? No, no, we've been there. No. <laughs> now then, now then. No, no I don't. And me. also, for years, I was so embarrassed about it and didn't tell anyone. Really? And now look at me. That's a everyone. fucking great story, though. It's not great. Do you know what is worse? I only learned just before my dad died. Don't, be told, don't, don't know if I said, but he is dead. So you can't. <laughs> I was conceived. In the row of the... Oh, oh yes, mate. Oh, <laughs> fucking yes. That's better than being conceived in Chew Valley Reservoir. <laughs> well, by the ice cream van. <laughs> Shout out my sister. <laughs> What's her middle name? 99 Screw Mr. Ball. Whippy. <laughs> <laughs> was oh, no, she was a nice ni- nick up of glory. Oh, as yeah. um, long as it's not Magnum. Screw ball. <laughs> Magnum. <laughs> I don't need... That Emery Jean runs strong. <laughs> Okay, well, that went, I need to tone down my ones a bit oh, and make them Jesus. a bit less relatable. A it was a bit more yeah, believable. It was too believable. It oh, was. Man. It was the whole I thought you'd be like, no one's going to call their fucking son after a type of fucking fruit. Yeah, no, Surely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right, now I know what I'm dealing with. No, I've got, no, I got a lot here. These fucking <laughs> absolute prosecutor <laughs> lawyers. That we're doing. He's and, a right nonce cunt. Of course he's called after a grape. Done. And on the fourth day, Mr. Austin, what was the name of the vine which you were conceived under? Because I do believe is the defense. That was uh, in the grounds of the big house. There you go. Oh. That was Coke's Vineyard. Oh. <laughs> right, then, Keith, you'll go. Oh, let's think of something. Do you come back to you? Yeah, go on. You go, I'm going to think... borrow one of mine. Right, no, mine no, no so I can make I can make some bullshit story. Up. Don't worry about that. Let me think of that one. <clears throat> I once got invited backstage at a gig because I was wearing their t-shirt. What gig was it? Uh, some forty-one. Oh, nice. Where and when? In Bristol. Strolling through the party like my name was Ali. Uh, I was. Just about like so, I was eighteen. He was a kid. I was, I was, he was a skid. No one knew him by name. They got a show cross party because nobody <laughs> came. <laughs> what was the venue? It was the <sighs> opposite the ice rink. Hippodrome. Coast Knoll. Huh? Okay. Who'd you go with? Uh, a mate of mine from college. Right. Aaron. What year is this? Sorry. Just to re... Did I ask you that already? So no. I was 18, so it was, I'm... Minus 12 years. No, yeah. 20, 13 years from now. So that was 2011. <coughs> and what, did someone just come out and go, you, backstage? No, so we were, like, at the front of the stairs. Right. Chatting away. And there was someone with, like, a lanyard. It was a woman. Ooh. And she was like... Oh, that's a cool t-shirt. I was like, yeah, no, no, we're coming to, like, come down to see him. And she's like, oh, I'm their photographer for tonight. Oh. Oh. So she was like, do you want to come and meet him? And I was like, so, yeah, that would be fucking awesome. So we got backstage and didn't actually get to meet him. Oh. But we got to watch a bit of their set from behind him. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a better view out there. What's the, how many people are in Sun 41? It's four of them. Uh, names? I don't fucking know. Nationality? Uh, American. This is true. This is 100% true. I'm I, know I'm gi- no, I, know I think I'm- he's done it too no, easy. No, I'm giving points away here to the rest of you <laughs> idiots. Um, but this is true because if it was a lie, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, I fucking went back and I met him, blah, blah, blah. No, I blah. think he's going to keep it a little less crazy so that we nah. think it's true. Nah, it's, all right, all right, it's true. If he'd have met him, he, we'd never heard a fucking end of it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Keith, what are you thinking? I think it's true. Was it one of those Sun 41 t-shirts that has Malcolm in the middle on it? It says no, Sun 41. it was a red one, <laughs> and it had their star quite big. It was probably like four inches, and it just said Sun 41. I think it's too easy. I think he's doing us in. I think he's trying to make it sound so you believable. Think? Yeah, that's what I think. 
No, oh, I'm saying it's true. So you're saying it's not real. I think, and I think it's... A lie. And what are you saying, Keith? I think it's true. Right. It's utter bollocks. Oh, yeah. fuck. I have Fox. never been to C741. Yeah. Really? You are a... <laughs> I'm never going to trust you again, you <laughs> fucking vile piece of shit. <laughs> right. Um, <sighs> also, if you went backstage, you'd get a good, like, you'd go backstage after the gig. You said, I got a shit for you here, I'm going to go back out there. If you went backstage, it would be when the gig is oh, finished. Oh, yeah, fuck's sake. But it, just, yeah, no, yeah, no one wants I've to go backstage thought, before yeah. the gig because they're all getting ready and shit. Anyway. Oh, damn it. Well done, Marlon. <sighs> good work. All right. Um, I once rugby tackled an escaped emu. <laughs> Where was the emu based? The Where'd... emu was well, actually wasn't an emu, but I said emu because it's easier than telling you that it was a rhea. A rhea is a uh, like an ostrich. Yeah, is it? it's small. I think it's smaller than an emu. They have them at uh, men it was shooting ground. Yeah, believe it that's or not, what I was thinking. Right. Yes. So, what year was this, Reginald? Uh, this was probably f- four or five years ago, I'd imagine. I think I know the answer, but I'm going to let you carry on because I have. I think I know. What happened? How did, did it like jump the fence? No, so I. Because they can't fly, can they? I'm up checking my cattle, which is near Mendip Shooting Ground, uh, and I get a phone call from our dear friend, Mr. Hill. Uh, are you about? Yeah, I've got a fucking ostrich running up the road. Can you come and help? And I'm like, of course. Like, I've know how to herd cattle. I'm sure I can herd a fucking <laughs> a bird. Some flight. Come on, lad. Birds. Come on. Come on. Come back. Come back. Come Stupid back. Stupid fat fucking bird. Bit of so, water pipe in your hand. Yeah, I, just, I, I walk out of the gateway, <laughs> and I uh, I see a pipe. <laughs> I see a I see a yellow defender absolutely blowing smoke, and in front of said defender is an emu or a rhea in front of it and it's escaped and I know that I'm the last line of defence between that <laughs> and the the A39 <laughs> as the Germans <laughs> and so yeah I just basically I, I threw caution well I didn't even throw caution to win I didn't even think got about down it. in a scrum position well, I just yeah. thought about it was just, rugby it's tackled just, it it's just a did you rugby tackle it or cuddle it no I I uh Throw yourself I, at it. The thing is, it's hard to rugby tackle. You imagine rugby they got tackle. Skinnier, they got skinnier legs than me and you, Reg. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, like, if I go down low, I don't want to get involved with those talons. So I sort of went just above sort of center of balance, which I thought was the meat of the bird. Um, and I went sort of lower neck and just fucking just smashed. Just Out of nowhere. I basically took it down like I take a calf down running at me. I just went for the base of the neck and pushed forward and used its force to go upwards and backwards. Was there no one else there qualified? Yeah, there there were. There were a lot of people there, but I was the one that had first. I was the one that was first hands on. And right. Alex, how far up the road was it? Uh, it was probably before the bend or after the bend. After the bend, for, uh, after the bend towards my yard, probably forty feet out the gateway. I just see it coming up, and I'm just like left, right, left, right, left, right, bosh. Did you not think it was going to be fun to let it run up to the Bristol Wheel? As much as I thought it would have been, as much as I would have thought it would have been funny, I quite enjoy the relationship we have with the shooting ground. So you know, <laughs> yeah. How did it go? Didn't even I, I didn't even ask. I just well, it's like the same with cattle. It's like you don't ask how they've gotten out. You just know they're out. And they need to go back. Was so it just, just the one swan? It, 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 <laughs> just the <laughs> one rear, actually. Yeah. When oh. you um, rugby tackled said bird, yeah. What did you do with it then? So you took it down to the ground. We, uh, I I got it got down in to, a headlock. I got, it, I got it down to the ground, <laughs> and when we got down choke. to the ground, there was a lot of shouting and screaming. And what I didn't sort what, of from you or the bird. What no from well the <laughs> bird was not very happy. Um, you had but, your finger in its ass. But the the boys sort of clambered on top, and uh, we chucked it in the back of the, the, the <laughs> we manhandled it into the back of the uh, yellow defender and drove it back to the shooting ground. It's the Mendips. It's true. I think it's true. I think if I had to get an escaped ostrich to the ground, you'd be my man for it. <laughs> I, I think that I am I am perfectly suited to um, handling. Hang on, what's the top animals? speed of a reamer on I'm the ground? A re- I'm not trying to be a funny cunt, right? But I am probably the best man. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I am probably the best man to handle an animal up to the size of which you physically cannot handle it yeah, no, anymore. Yeah. I can grab a 240 kilo Angus by the chops and bend it up but like a fucking pretzel. But they don't run very fast, though, do they? Is this um, the only bird you've tackled in your life? 
Well, I got my wife. Don't I, once so. twice. <laughs> you came from Mendip shooting ground as well. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to escape out private school. I just grabbed her by the neck. <laughs> you can come with me. You have learned a farm life. I said, no, yeah, I think if I had an animal handling problem, yeah. I'd call you Reg. Especially if he's just next door, if he's only over the hedge. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. I'm saying it's true. You, Keith? I think it's true. What do you say, Marla? Absolutely true. Very true. We're in the Mendips. Oh, one in all in. Fuck it. Yeah, go on. I'll go with it. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> fucking true. <laughs> so it was It was exactly what I said. It was running up towards, I had a phone call, said there's a rear out, can you come and give a hand? And, uh, you know, I got up there, got in front of it, and uh, I can't remember if I actually come out DDT'd of the farm. the cunt. I, I can't remember if I got out of the farm or whether I was somewhere near, then they rang me, and it was a few years ago. And, yeah, I literally just spear tackled it to the ground. <laughs> and as we were getting in the back of the car, and they were like, you do realise that thing's got talons like a velociraptor. It could have ripped you from <laughs> Bring the dinosaurs back. <laughs> from gullet to stern. And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I just put the cunt on the ground. <laughs> And then we just like manhandled it into the back of the truck, drove it back, and uh, you know, uh, basically, uh, no name, no names, but um, uh, the, the lady of the manor was uh, it was her animal, and uh, the man of the manor did not care for said animal, <coughs> and it was very much a coax it out nicely, coax it out nicely, until the man of the manor said "fuck that," grabbed it by the base of the neck, and dragged the cut and clean out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the truck, you stupid fucking bird! <laughs> that was that. End of story. That was the it was the wife that reminded me of it today. She was just like I was like, what in the would I lie to you? She was like, do the one about where you rugby tackled that emu. I was like, yeah, what a fucking tail that was and all. <laughs> That's like fucking forty kilo bird. Pff, fuck you know. I've just <laughs> I've just been there castrating a four hundred kilo Angus. <laughs> fuck. You meant nothing, you feathery little cunt. <laughs> Can't even fucking fly. Not real bird. <laughs> what about you, Keith? Go on then. I once turned away. A member of the royal family from a military camp. Was he a paedophile? It wasn't a he. <laughs> Did he swear? Was it a non binary he, she, 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 she? No, no most definitely not. It was Oops. the uh, silver stick. Where? Silver stick? Princess Anne. Why did you change? Because she didn't have her identification on her. Name's not on the list. Oh, Ain't coming yeah. in. <laughs> no trainers, love. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just one free, three oh. free drinks before eleven. No, what? Like when you turned her away, was that was that final? When yeah, you that said, was it. and she had to leave. She couldn't come onto camp. Who put you in charge that day? I was uh, staggering on the gate, so I was like the. Well, you were in charge security. that day. All right. What camp was this? This was in Windsor, Legoland. Near. Yeah. No, 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 this isn't true. This isn't true because not a chance. Every person at Windsor Camp would know it must have some sort of briefing as to every single member of the royal family and you are allowed to let... Mm, what did she want to but do? But as I'm saying this, I'm thinking no because the armed forces have probably got a very, very strict thing and all the royal family yeah, and, um, probably know the what protocol. What year was it? Uh, <clears throat> it would have been like 2000 and... Six two thousand and seven ish. How old would you have been then? Eighteen nineteen. Why did she? What? What was her the purpose of what, her visit? Yeah, why was she trying to come in? Could have been for many reason, really. Could have she could have been come to see her horses? Could have been to just come onto camp. Mm. And why did you not horses? let her in? Because she didn't have her ID on her. Who was she with? Her driver. Did he have ID? Yeah, yeah, I died there, yeah. What car do they have? But he wasn't... I can't remember the car now. It would have been like a Range Rover or something like that. Mm. Oh, this is hard. What did you have for lunch that day? What did I have for lunch that day? Yeah. Um, probably a Tesco's meal deal. <laughs> <laughs> what meal deal was it? Uh, probably a... Uh, probably it, it, it would have... Three back, shillings back then. Back then it was then. safe to have chicken and bacon sandwiches. Obviously, at the minute it's not because of the ECO <laughs> yeah. breakout. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Do not eat that. Is there a Tesco in Windsor? I don't think there is, actually. What yeah. was that about the fucking nope. bacon or something? It's a... Tesco Express. Oh, yeah, there's a <laughs> recall. It's mainly in, like, WH... Waitrose. Was it WH oh, Smith? Smith? That was it. Yeah, E. coli. Um, their oh. chicken and something wraps. Oh, got, um... Bre. Poison duck wraps are the ones there. Nah, brev. Get the bird food like, instead. You don't like ducks at the minute, do you? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ate them. Just like eating them. Oh, this is a tough I think we need to one. ask more questions. No, interrogate him. Come on. No, I know. I'm trying, but I don't know what else to <laughs> Was she in a 322? Given the year, probably, yeah. Oh, fuck me. He's a clever bastard. What did she say Listen. when you said you can't come in? 
She wasn't happy. What did she say? This isn't on. Did she bring out? <laughs> the- <laughs> I'm not happy. Did she bring out the chain? She said to, to me, get- "Check out the motor. You know who I am." Not what she would have said. False. <laughs> she, yeah, she would have said it just like Check that. Check out well. the motor, Keith. Come on, it's <laughs> clearly me, yeah, Princess Fucking EV6 and all shag. <laughs> She was agri spec. <laughs> <laughs> That's this fucking getting, bullshit. They're getting a vat back on a diesel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on red, mate. <laughs> I don't know. I think you that you're you're quite sneaky. You don't let much on. Ask the questions, I'll answer them. Well, come on, let's ask him the questions. I asked what he was fucking lunch I'm all out of questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's tough. Dad, I didn't help the argument. <laughs> I don't no, know. It's, it's, it's absolute it's... bollocks. If you you'd remember what she's driving, what was number one on the charts that day? Do you remember? <laughs> oh, it was um, steps. Yeah. What happened? What happened when you turned her away? I uh, got into a lot of trouble. What do they say to you? Your do you know who that is? And you said, "Yeah, I, I do." Fucking do. <laughs> what are you going to do, sack I? <laughs> I don't know. You it went hard. right. It went right to the top. Why are we? Why at 18, 19 years old were you put in charge of the gates? Because it's the dog shit job of the camp, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, so that's, that's quite a high... Yeah, that's a, no. You want someone to be more experienced to go, that's bitter. No, I, I don't yeah. think it is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I know, but I don't think it is a good job. I think Fresh into the regiment, bullshit job, there you go, stag on the gate. Why were you down Windsor then? Because originally I was in the House of Cavalry. Before I transferred across to the Royal Engineers, I was. I don't oh, think, was he? Oh, I don't think he'd be on his own. I, I reckon there'd be two I, of them. I know his old man was. But Wouldn't be on his own, would he? There'd be two of them. No. Well, yeah, but you would say that. You're trying to lie to us. I'm not. I'm telling <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Look, I was in the army oh, for years. Is, I haven't said is... about it, but I was, and that's not how they do You're it. You're a right? bastard. You are. This is hard. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna go against my gut, and I'm gonna say true. I'm gonna put me cards on the table. This is hard. <laughs> No, it's not as easy. It's bollocks. <laughs> no, I'm going to say... Look at his little smirk. <laughs> it's bollocks. Like, it? Yeah, I'm a mile on bullshit. Bullshit. How's your guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Keith. So it wasn't actually me. It was oh, my brother. No. Oh, it's true. Yeah. It's, it's, was it's he true. on his own? Yeah, he was. He was uh, He was staggering on the gate uh, down at his camp in Windsor. And she came up to camp to go and see the horses. And um, he asked for her identification. You have to show your identification. It's like a lanyard around your neck. No, it's like a little ID card. So it could be like a what we Back call like a, like a mod line yeah. ACA. <laughs> what, 741? It's like an army <laughs> identification pass. And like, irrespective. So it states that when someone comes up to the gate, you ask for their identification yeah. to prove who they are. No matter who they are. No matter who they are. Yeah, yeah. And she couldn't provide it because she didn't have it on her that day. So he sent her away. And then he got called into the guard room and got a bit of a chewing out and it went right to the fucking top. Well, he's just doing his job, surely. Exactly, yeah. And that was his argument. And I can't remember the outcome of it. I think he'd got away with it. But yeah, it was uh, like, you do know who that is. And I was like, well, of course I do, but she didn't have no idea. Could have, could have been a lookalike. What, could what have been a fucking the... legend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the queen. Ne- I, run the, I run the army. <laughs> uh-huh. Bring your fucking wristband. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your ID tag? <clears throat> All right, Marlon, you go. So uh, I was driving through the lanes home one night and I ended up, <laughs> instead of hitting a car, going in a hedge, tilting the car on like a 45 degree angle and I had to get the police out and they breathalyzed me because they thought I was pissed. All right, hang on a minute, where was you driving back from? From Wells to Shepton. What year was this? Um, just got with Chief, so 2013, 2014. What car are you in? I was in my Ignis. What was, lane was you on? Uh, back road. Which one? So, Oldsworld. Yeah. Come up the hill, go right, and then come out on the top of the crossroads in the football club. What was the weather conditions that evening? Uh, Dry. So when you was driving down this road, I'm guessing you have a car coming towards you. Yeah. And then you did what? Uh, shat my pants because I was going too fast. Why? Was you pissed? No. Okay. Where'd no. you been, sorry? Where, uh, did we miss that? Where were you that night? Is it so Wells? I, I lived in Wells. <laughs> so you've been at home? Yeah. What were you doing before you left to go and see Chief? Uh, I probably just finished work. Where were you working? 
Local, I, I love this fellow. local like, garage just fucking interrogating people <laughs> <laughs> what time of day was that uh, so I would have finished at six home shower change fart around for a bit half seven eight o'clock so when you avoided said car you've then gone off into the verge into the verge got but stuck it's not a verge it's a hill okay and then the police were the first people you called yeah see that's where I'm well, Why? Yes. Because she was flying off the fucking handle, going, oh, you've been drinking, you've been drinking. I was like, I haven't. I fucking haven't. I'll tell you what, we'll just get the fucking police up here, shall we? Why did you not call mm, the auto mover? No, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, he, I didn't know the auto mover back then. I don't think she would have thought you were drinking. If you finished work and you just had a shower yeah. and a oh, quick bit of Eight whatever, o'clock at night on a Friday. No, I think she thought he's been at work, he's had a shower, not drink. I don't think that's, I think that's bollocks. Also, I don't think, I think any of us, if we were in that position, you wouldn't phone the police. It was, no. You'd go through your phone book and be like, there's so many people on here that would help me. My mates who would be like, can you come on quickly? Oh, I, think, I like to prove people wrong. I think you're under mess, underestimating how petty Marlon can be. <laughs> I think your lady's on thick is true. Years and you're trying have. to divert the fucking... No, fuck it. No, you no, no, ring no. them. We'll fucking ring them. Get the fucking police here. Breathalyze me. I haven't been fucking drinking. Yeah, but once they breathalyze you to prove that you haven't been drinking because you clearly hadn't, yep. they're, they're not still... going to tow you away in their no. Vauxhall Corsa, are they? No, they're no. still going to say, well, although you're not drunk, you've still been driving recklessly because yeah. your car's on the fucking side sort of thing. I got a bit of a, a bit of a talking to. I was like, yeah, I was doing below the speed limit, but maybe I shouldn't have been doing... I know you can be a mong, but you're not that much of a mong to ring the old bill and basically turn yourself in for smashing your own car up. That's Yeah, that's what I, I was, think. I think yeah. And no I matter if 18. you're drunk or not, if you have a bit of an accident... Oh, mate, if I was drunk, first. I'd have been on and gone. Yeah, but you can't because your car's fucked. No, you call someone, don't you? Yeah, not the so police. I ended up calling Curbs, and Curbs came up with the judge and pulled me out backwards. And that's why I had to have the front end repainted on the Ignis. Was that the only damage done, was it? Yeah. So it... Where the radiator sits on the crash bar. That was wanked. Don't try and screw me off with this mechanical Front chat, bumper. mate. <laughs> the flux capacitor was all <laughs> fucked up, Keith. <laughs> I love this because it's... Com- the flugel it's like- binder and the muffler bearings were Do you wanked. know the answer, Rez? You've been quite... quite- Do you know the answer to this? I me, mean, no, I don't know the you answer. Okay. But I, lo- I-, I love it because it just it just puts puts man against man. We're all good friends here. And then it's like, you are a disgusting... <laughs> you can't lie to us, you, you son of a bitch! lying piece of shit. <laughs> He comes out with his like technical jargon about yeah. where the Radiators. fucking umping is fucking yeah, kept right. in the back of the boot. Well, no, well, you know the radiators at the front you of the vehicle. You don't know what a radiator is. And the radiator on. support supports the radiator. So that was bent as I'd gone up on the fucking Verge Hill. Hang and on. So you ended up on the side. About I was about that, I'd say. It probably was like 35, not 45, but it was... What was the other car coming towards you? Polo. Why the fuck knew it then? Why didn't you just because like you? Because I like my car too much. Right. Okay. So what did the person in the polo do when you obviously swerved to avoid them? Did they stop and they say thank you, or they just like carry oh, on? Oh no. She was accusing me of drink driving. Right. So she stopped. Oh, so they oh yeah, stopped. she stopped. Oh, she stopped. And I'm half blocking the lane because he's half cut at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm up on the verge I'm not like, like oh, it's, this a, is it's really a relatively tough. single track this lane this is really I know exactly Where, how you're, are you blowing it through the back lane through Horrington no up Oldsweld oh uh, yeah and then yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. right and then come out at the crossroads yeah this is this is just down your street as well was she going is... too fast or something was you I was because I mean doing... normally you just like pull in and let them pass oh uh, yeah I was going too fast I was doing un- I was doing the speed limit. Marlon would sit there and argue about the metallic composite of a fucking nail with someone hat for half an hour. He's that petty. He would. <laughs> so it wouldn't surprise me if this was the case. Yeah, she wait, was like, old- <clears throat> I was 18. She was like, I'm going to call the police. You've been drink driving. I was oh, like, don't worry, I've already called them. I'll call them. Yeah, I'm going to say it's true. Fuck <sighs> it. it. It just sounds too much like you. And if it's not, then you <laughs> Mate, know you're I'm just- fucking. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I will argue the fucking point. Yeah, you've blown your own spunk here, mate. I think it's false. I just still struggle with the fact that if you're 18, you have an accident, whether you're drunk or not, the last thing you want to do is get a police involved. Yeah. You get, you because get, you know how much insurance what, is when you're a getting, male it, first driver. She, no, because if she's, she's ringing them and you've been off, yeah. don't look good. Why would you argue so, it so much if it was true? Why would I argue what so much? This case. To try and make it sound so true. Because you're trying to debunk it. Yeah, that's the whole how idea you, of this. Yeah. <laughs> How did so you I, get out of the car? Well, because we were up like that, I just yeah. opened the door and got out. 
Well, the driver's door. Yeah. So it opened at 35 degrees on a bank. Yeah. On Old <laughs> Wells Road. <laughs> no chance, mate. Bollocks. <laughs> Right, like, go on, man. I'll put us out of our fucking misery. I've heard all I need to hear, and this is rubbish. <clears throat> yeah, it's absolute bollocks. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that either, by the way. He was good. He was fucking good. It's <laughs> a little shit in <laughs> you. <laughs> Fuckers. I never fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him go past me most days. He doesn't even get the hand up. He's like, hey, Shag! <laughs> I've got to put him a voice we're, note. We're, I, I did get past you, mate, and said hello. Yeah. <laughs> we're cracking on in third, Shag. <laughs> <laughs> we're on and gone. Yeah. You despite. Well me. done, though. That was good. Yeah, I like that one. I once drove 11 miles with the keys to my house on the roof of the car. What car were you driving? They were still on the roof. Well, actually, I was wasn't. a Land Rover and rolled uh, over and come was off. I? <laughs> yeah, Land Rover. Yes, uh, actually, I, I was driving. <laughs> I was driving the wife's Citroen C1. Oh, that's more believable. <laughs> um, I know you're fucking useless for keys. I don't know because that's... what keys were they? Uh, they were my house keys, which are here, these ones. And where were you going from and to? There's, a lot, going, there's a lot of weight on that. I was going from the Horrington, uh, an aesthetics clinic in Horrington to McDonald's. In street? Yes. In the C1? Yep. What time of day was this? This was probably uh, four o'clock. In the morning or the afternoon? Afternoon. Uh, did, did you know, weirdly, fucking private doctors don't open at four o'clock in the morning, Marlon. What did you get from McDonald's when you got there? Um, <laughs> I'd imagine I had my standard order, which is a double, which would be a double cheeseburger, or double, or if it was then triple cheeseburger, a BLC. If More that, specific, please. Exactly what you had. This is, this is I'm trying to be did a you have sort of chicken nuggets, five had, chicken snacks, I, and a of, of the I would have had whatever was the, the wrap of the day, because I'm a tight cunt, and I don't give a shit what flavour <laughs> of it, what it is, as long as it's one ninety nine. Large Coke, large chips, and she would have just had some fucking boring basic. So you had Doe in the car with you, both of you? Yeah, she, I was driving. Right, okay. She was in the passenger seat because she'd just have her face fucking jabbed up. And how did you know? When did you find out the keys on the roof? Ah, the woman behind me came over in the queue to McDonald's, knocked on the window, and said, Excuse me, you do realize you've got a set of keys on your roof? And I put my hand up and went, Chink. And I was like, Holy fucking shit. They've been on there since Horrington. Uh, What's the top speed of said C1? Uh, Why well, did blow that fucking thing on home? She will hit 80 and third. Um, I don't think any set of keys, no matter how... Let's have a look. Them, Why were they on the roof? Because I was, at the, I was at this clinic and a pheasant had called. They look pretty and windswept. I, and I got out of the car... <laughs> To make is a, there a magnet on there as because well? Because I'd had a pheasant call in my back pocket <laughs> and it was what, underneath not... my keys and I pulled the keys out, put them on the roof and then I'd gone and called the pheasant in thinking, I want to see if I can call this fucking cop bird in. Not that I had a gun on what me. Month but... of May, what month of May? <laughs> what month of the year was this? <laughs> this would have now? been about um, March, April time. Okay. I'm trying to think of pheasant activity yeah. that time of year. I just know when Mr. I shoot Sauvignon the most Blanc. of them. I mean, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. It doesn't matter what time of year. And what car was the woman in? The one that said, by the way, you got keys oh, on your roof. Oh, I've not a clue. Which not like, kind no. of, we need to know that. Well, really. I, I can't tell you that because I didn't give a shit about that. Okay. All I cared that, that my keys were on the roof. Did you thank her? I did. I actually, you know what I did? I did that American thing. I went to the drive through window. Nice I said, day. whatever she's having, I'm paying for. Because she'd already been through the little speaker What does thing. she look like? Uh, she ordered like a double cheeseburger and a, and a coffee. She looked like so a double like, cheeseburger. Oh, bro, it wasn't even that much. <laughs> I was willing to like give you 20 quid. I <laughs> uh, didn't, again, didn't even see. She just hurt. I just sort of saw a face and a woman that was like, your keys are on the car, love. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the best answer I was hoping for. I, the thing is, I recall you telling me a story about driving down the road with keys on the roof. Whether it's that one or not, I don't know. Reg is absolutely terrible with keys. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's why he's got this on it. That's why that's on it. The one yeah. thing I want to focus on is that they stayed on the roof of that's the car what I'm for 11 with. miles. Yeah, that didn't, though, because you've only just got that. Yeah. No, no. But Where's your like title? The keys themselves. Yeah, they, they, yeah, well, Samsung made a better version than Apple made a better version. It's the fuck the tile. 
So from Harrington to McDonald's, think about the roads you've got to go through. You've got a couple of 30 mile an hour, you've got school zone 20. But yeah. the road past the old Camelot, you know the road is bumpy. Is there, the is, there, is, there, is there much stop starting though? Because the thing is, the weight in well, them yeah, is roundabouts. And the aerodynamics of that yeah, car. Yeah, actually, is the roof good point. Uh, a lot of roundabouts. Is, there, is the roof flat on the C1 or has it got ridges in? Because I'm pretty sure it's flat. It is the sexy model, so it could have roof racks on it. But then I'm thinking, because he's so used to driving a Defender, he doesn't hit the corners that hard. No, I, I for fear of rolling over. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, and her fucking car's wank. So hang on, go, rewind to the reason they're on the roof. There was a pheasant calling. Yeah. You had a pheasant caller on your keys. No, no, I had a pheasant caller in my back pocket, but it was underneath my keys. So I just whipped my keys out, chucked them on the roof. Did grab... your pheasant calling? Yeah, I just... <laughs> and then you got in the car... And then the pheasant fucked off and I got back in the car. Well, the car keys are separate then, obviously, to this. So yeah, yeah, no, I, I never the keep them on the same thing. I'm just thinking, obviously, fuck Anyone me, that puts house keys don't on their car this. keys is a The car's never first. clean, is it? So the amount of shit that was on it probably helps the key stick to it. It wasn't like... If I it love was... how in-depth this has got. This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. If it was like my work van or something, it would have just slid straight off because of the fucking amount of the thing wax I'm on getting it, from this is... I'm looking at everyone thinking, you lying fuck. Even you like you're not even. I'm just looking. I don't even trust you. Anymore. I don't trust anyone because we're all trying to fucking. We're all trying to deceive each other and lie to each other. I what do you think, people? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Sound off in the comments. Yeah. Scream at your speakers now. I'm on the, totally. On I, the I don't want to think. Is the first one. This retarded. This is the first one that I haven't. I'm not sure. Every other one, I've sort of thought, mm, probably this or this, but this one. It, it could be true because he is terrible with keys and he has lost many, many keys before. But I don't think anyone can drive from there to there with keys but, No, move and not at least hear them slide or have them come down. Cause, yeah, because they're not Something going like to that. stay still. No. I've, I've pulled in at fucking Greg's at Illminster Services and driven the site with a coffee on the fucking roof before and it's not falling off. <laughs> but, you know. That's because you drive like a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marlon. I'll take that. <laughs> I know who listens to the podcast. <laughs> All right, do you know what? The people are telling me it's true. <laughs> Thank you, people. I'm, I'm just getting the word. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I, don't, I haven't. Fuck, the thing I don't is, fucking know. I haven't got anything to say. It's bollocks because of this. All of my information is is. Could happen, could happen, could happen. There's no reason for me to go. That's bollocks because I think this, this, and this. I'm thinking true, but I don't want him to be right. <laughs> I, I would hate it. Rich, <laughs> do that, not be right. He was that fortunate. <laughs> to get a, some points. Such a good thing happened to him. <laughs> there's quite a lot of keys Off, on There's there. weight there. Yeah, there's, also, like you said, if there are rails on there, it could have stood against the hell. rail. Reg, can I just ask you, what the fuck is that key for? Uh, That's I, I, a I, thick I boy. Some, I got some thick boy keys on my new doors. Yeah. Jesus I know, Christ. That is, a, that is a chunky, thick old boy. A lot of metal. That's what I paid most of the money for was the keys. Fucking Braille. <laughs> you could, uh, you Braille. Could, you could it wait. says, <laughs> don't dun, dun, come dun. in, guns inside. <laughs> That's, you weigh that in. That's 20 quid right there, mate. <laughs> right, where are you two, What do you think, at? Marlon? Because me and you are on the fence. I'm not sure. I think he's telling the truth. I don't physically see how they could stay on the roof. Because I've seen people put like wallets and Let's stuff. Let's think about this differently. Hang on. Yeah, but the thing is, that, car, that car's shaped like a shoebox, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's not like... So what time of day was this? Four o'clock in the afternoon. About four o'clock in the afternoon. I remember because I'd take her time there after work. I don't know if they'd go to McDonald's after that. I think they'd come home. And they obviously weren't on the diet then. No. You're red on a diet. I think you should need to look at this. It's iPhone as well. His mum's dead. Not that he repeats himself a lot. Yeah. No, I think it's bollocks. It's bollocks. I think bollocks bollocks too. And I don't know why, but I think it's absolute bollocks. I think it's a logistical nightmare to have the keys stay on there for 11 miles over those roads. I think it's bollocks. Regardless of the weight of them. Well... Look at his face. <laughs> He's so happy. Keith, put your hand there. <laughs> <laughs> it was true. God's honest truth. I ain't fucking bullshit. You asked my wife. It was the most unreal. How? I don't know. If I could tell you, I would fucking tell you. I don't know how. It stayed it an act of on God. the fucking roof. All the way from Horrington to Street McDonald's. We pulled up in the drive-thru. The woman came up from behind us and said, excuse me, you know, there's a set of keys on your roof. 
I went like that and I was like, <gasps> well, that's why I asked. What I still think it's bullshit. No, it's, it's not. It's not. I'm got God's honest truth. You asked the wife. It was insane. That was exactly the reason it did. I had a pheasant call in the bottom of my pocket, pulled the keys out, slapped them on the roof, pulled the call out. Yeah, it was wild. Do you know what the only thing was, though? I will give you this. is As we were driving along, I was like, what the fuck is that? A fucking noise. Your car is a fucking bag of shit. <laughs> and it was... It sounds like a bag of nails. Shoot. And she's How got, the fuck? It's got divoted rails. Like, you know, like... Uh, drain rails and it was just they're so heavy that they would catch as they went side to side in the rails but we never went fast enough for them to blow over the ridge and off the back even if they and never did, braked hard enough for them to come down the windscreen even if they were i'll give him that he is not an erratic driver even if uh, even if they did i had a tile on them so i could have found them so it wasn't the end of the world but i was just could not fucking believe that's as as I'm stood here now, that's as real as it can be. I knew that would fuck you up because I was speaking to her earlier. I said, Dude, would, I, would I lie to you earlier? Any good mm-hmm. ones that uh, we've done or something? We've done the emu. She was like, yeah. Let's do the car yeah. keys. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, tell the key story and tell the emu story. I was like, the key story is unbelievable. She was like, yeah, that'll fuck but I, up. Like, I've seen people leave shit on their roofs. Like, I know. I know. I've uh, lo- I have I've lost... left my wallet on my roof. Yep. My, I've, my left, roof. Yeah. I've, I've yeah. left my wallet on my roof and I have found it. I've left countless yeah. cups of coffee on the roof and they've gone uh, mugs i always i forever leaving mugs on my roof people are flashing me when i'm driving through shepton and like I'm, fuck this come on fuck off your it's, dog it's <laughs> too fucking hot it's cooling off right? there's Leave my little there. starbucks mug just <laughs> yeah so there you go you, you well yeah. done Rose. that had me i know it, had me. yeah I it would have had convinced. anyone apart from this fucker here for some reason <laughs> he can read minds <sighs> right have we got any more? Or are we? Uh, I've got loads, but do you want? Can you choose one? Because I got low. I don't know which one. I to choose pick. one. I got like I had fifteen. Keith, you choose one. Pick one of mine. We'll do that. <laughs> just, which, <laughs> just whichever one. I saw Gareth Gates in MVVRP section. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's true. Because Envy would just take any old fucking clap out celeb, wouldn't they? Well, it was my birthday and I was in the VIP section as well, so I was pretty pissed Was he there off. for you or not? No, I think... No, he wasn't, though. What year was this? 2002. Mm, <laughs> I don't know how old. I was probably... It was mid- your birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was my birthday. So now, was how March. old was you? Uh, it was in my mid-20s at some point. I can't remember exactly when. My mid-20s. Did you get, did you get a picture of him? I didn't get a picture with him. I didn't really have much to do with him, to be honest. I was pretty pissed off he was there because my birthday. Gas thing is, it, 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 this is a complete shot in the dark because it could just as well be Will Young, couldn't it? Yeah. It could just be saying Gareth Gates, but set mean Will Young. But I think Gareth There's Gates There's only had... one of them that went to Envy, though. People from street are screaming into their speakers right now. Why the fuck would you want to go Envy in street? Because it was the opening. Oh, yeah, that's what he yeah, thought. He goes, oh, do you know what? If it wasn't cool, it was place, anything. Well, was, no, we haven't got like... fucking either of them. We've got no nightclubs on the men lips anymore. I'll tell you what happened, Keith. He went, hep, hep, hep. <laughs> it's well, hep. It's well <laughs> since birthday. Hep, hep. <laughs> I'll go to end. Hep, hep. <laughs> You're not both select there. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Hep, hep. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kesh uh, You're not Walking allowed to track. Google anything. I'm what not Google doing? anything. <laughs> yeah, Did like... Gareth Gates go to birthday or Will Austin? Oh, my minge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you minge teasing bastard. Let's put that right pong. Don't worry, <laughs> kitty, don't back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, I think it's I think it's a lie. On what basis? On the basis, because normally the, all them the, drugged up fucking celebrities end up going to some shit hole like Western, don't they? No, yeah, they and, and no, envy. They, I'm sure there was like, yeah, they've had some fucking mongos in there, but <laughs> they have. They have like every fucking love island cunt no, known to man, every every reality and show. And what's the other one? Um, Will Austin twatted in Essex or something? <laughs> oh, um, uh, uh, oh. Uh, Fucking oh, or is it made in? I don't know. Um, made, made in Essex. Made in. Made in. Made in. The only way is Chelsea. That's it. That's yeah. That's <laughs> the one. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, my friend Shanaqua is. <laughs> Uh, her and Tar- Shotted again. And Tarquin have just started a company with, with my sister money. Felicio. <laughs> uh, we're, we're dealing right hand uh, Do you know what the worst part know? is about life is that I'm so fucking inbred <laughs> that I don't know who I'm related to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've shagged them all. <laughs> I'm going to go with Drew. Because <laughs> it seems like what was it like? M- mid two thousand. Yeah, kind of ch- it was mid, yeah. Did, did he did he make any complaints about losing his footwear on the dance floor? No. Did he fall down the stairs? Floor. No, I can't remember. I wasn't. No. Oh, I was uh, just no, he didn't know. There, Everyone honest. else didn't socialise with the general public. No. <laughs> didn't he shag Jordan as well? Betty Price. Who has fucking man? did not? But the post selective was just him going. <laughs> 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 trying to fucking swing That's a sentence together. That was that his cum face, wasn't it? <laughs> absolutely <laughs> run through. Back in the mid 2000s, that what? was post. Are you coming fuck. or you got hiccups? What's he drifting? God, I wish I made that sound when I came. <laughs> Gareth is stuck on the letter A. Next time. (laughs) 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 All right, this is getting mental now. Right, Um, it's absolutely true. I want to say it's true. Nah. He's too much of a fag to go to fucking envy. (laughs) No, I went quite a lot. (laughs) 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 Did it most weekends. What you, Marlon, you, I'm saying it's true. Great. What did I say? You said false. Yeah, I did say false, didn't I? Yeah, yeah false. false. Yeah, no, I didn't really. False, yeah. Yes! Yeah. Fucking ass. He did go once, but I wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> I, tr- I tried so hard. <laughs> oh. All right, are we done? We're done. We're done. Right, would you like to know the scores? Scores on the doors. So, we've got Will on four. Way. Fourth place. Fourth place? Fourth First place. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have gone to the fun fair instead. <laughs> we've got Marlon on five. And we've got a joint first, Keith and Reg. Yes. Fuck yes. Yeah. The lie detectors themselves. The skeptics among the fucking believers. <laughs> the poker faces are there. Yeah. <laughs> Take us to Vegas, you can. <laughs> there's, there's more room. Come I, on, let's I, go. Let's yes. fucking go. <laughs> Can we take Trump with us? He's already there. Sounds. He's there. He's got the he's got the Trump. It's gonna be huge. He's got, he's got the, beautiful. The, well done, Keith. The Trump Taj Mahal is gonna be great. We're gonna be he's the only man in the world to make a casino that loses money. <laughs> a fucking leader. But of it's a, beautiful. <laughs> keep on re- fucking Oh no, I'm fucked. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> rocking, that's it. Keep on rocking. <laughs> World. Right, uh, uh, that, buy that, tickets for the fucking event. Buy the event, yeah, because um, you're going to see all this shit live. Us twatting around. <laughs> <laughs> you going to the event, Will? Yeah. Depends yeah. if there's a lift going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a hotel boot. Well, I can't. I'll be Range Rover. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a lift this time. Oh, yeah, I'll get there. We'll give you a lift. I'll take you a lift in the commercial. You can enjoy the air suspension, you just can't. Nah, I won't be what? here by then. No, won't be here. <laughs> no, exactly. Who are you joking? <laughs> Probably back for like paint issues or the oil pump failure or something. There's a chip on the alloy. Send it back. Oh, yeah. I will and all fuck them. Oh, dear. Right. This has been a wild show. We've got another one to do tomorrow and another one to do on Friday, Marlon. So let's fucking hold tight. Look at his face. (sighs) Fuck. (laughs) Right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, rate us five stars on Spotify. Anything you listen to us, leave us a good review. We love it. If not, if you don't well, like don't, us... No one cares. If you, leave us a, if you don't like us, leave us a bad review. I don't really care, because if you leave us a bad review, I think you're a cunt anyway, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> if, you've, if you've got this... Tuesday yeah, night. Yeah, you've got this oh, <laughs> Yeah. If you've listened the whole way through this, and you're like, I really hate them, then you're just a fucking <laughs> book. Issues, man. Yeah, just fuck off. <laughs> Listen, don't listen. We're not your real parents. Yeah. 
Um, real parents are disappointed in you anyway. So like, at least we can't judge you. I don't know. Fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are dead anyway, from what I gather. <laughs> What do you well, mean that's why we all listen to this yeah, what, yeah, what do you mean you're two, two alive parents why are you gay <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh, love you dad love you mum oh. oh fuck right I, you better finish this off I'm right, fucked um, I'm fucking yeah thanks done. everyone for until next week <laughs> Um, I'm going to be absolutely useless at work tomorrow. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm always useless at work. So that's <laughs> right. You'll be in your duck quacking around. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mallard will call you. <laughs> Doing laps around couch or not at the fucking gate. <laughs> I've just got to catch one first. <laughs> right. Quack, quack. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I'm not even going to work tomorrow. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Sack you? <laughs> Literally, I've got that point in life now. <laughs> nah, you're not. Now you won't. <laughs> I'm the kingpin. <laughs> I know, score shag. Right. Uh, right, it's been fun, ladies and gentlemen. I've, uh, thanks for listening. I've been Reg. I'm still going to be useless at work tomorrow. I'm uh, Will. Here, I'm here. We're here. Quack, quack, I've been Keith. <laughs> <laughs> right. Much love. It's been good. Um, oh, what is it I usually say? And that's the end. Um, Hey, hey, till next week! Yay! <laughs> you fucked that right up. <laughs>